Huh. Did you know Skype accepts slash commands? I actually just learned that yesterday. Give him another five minutes and we'll start at the hour, if at worst. Who is asking the, if they would like to be a transgenic? Let me double check. Yo? No. No, that was actually Jason. Oh, the one who's not here. Great. Jason. Oh, I made a bio for that thread. Uh. No, it's eight fifty six EST. Or EDT or whatever. The point is, it's almost nine. <clears throat> D 
Dude, I'm living in Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I thought uh, we uh, were supposed to start UDT? at the 30 minute mark. I said I was going to be 15 minutes late, so I was going to start at the 45 minutes mark, which was about 12 minutes ago. And Jason is... So, oh, I, I guess I had the uh, the time wrong. Uh, I guess right now it's not actually Eastern Standard Time, it's Eastern Saving, or Eastern Daylight Savings Time. So, slightly different, but it is 8, it is 8.57 in the East Coast. Um, uh, yeah. Anyone have anything uh, to ask before we start? Or anything they want to say? Blah, 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 blah. Alright. I don't think so. Alright, cool. Um, no announcements today. Cool. So, what happened last time? Um, you guys delivered goods. You guys found a box of drugs. And I knocked someone out. Uh, oh yeah, knocked a uh, knocked a panicked uh, knocked a panicked smuggler out. Um, proceeded to get chewed out. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, and uh, and found a contact to sell your drugs in a day or two. So I didn't uh, I didn't really describe uh, the planet very well so um, the planet is like uh, rather barren uh, like on the outside but there's many um, many I guess kind of many cities that are like bio uh, I guess terraformed or engineered to be very clear um, however like for each uh, between the cities where people develop um, it's it's closer to uh, it's closer to like uh, desert or wasteland. So picture, I guess, like majority of Nevada. Um, the the class is uh, the class difference between cities and areas are huge. Like um, you can almost you can. Oh, you can tell the difference uh, between the classes just looking down from the space station. Like, um, places where it's rich is actually, like, lit up, where the poor areas, you can tell there's a city there, but it might not be, like, between day and... Uh, when it hits nighttime, you probably can't even see it. If not, you'll see some... Uh, you'll see some semblance of, like, power and whatnot. But it's not as... Uh, not as bright or as... Uh, as inviting as the uh, higher class neighborhoods. Um, Grav vehicles is everywhere and this is I believe a tech level 5 planet. Yes, which I didn't, ch uh, did I change it? 
Yeah, attack level five. <laughs> um, from what you know, uh, from what you know, uh, there is a, there is a, uh, there's an uprising by the uh, by the poorer side of the poorer side of the of the uh, society. So like, there's a kind of a uh, cold civil war um, I guess is the best way to describe it but um, the government is closer to an oligarchy so like all the power is in the richest hands and um, if they want to if the poor still if those working under those in power still wants to live and uh, still wants to live they probably have to like listen to the uh, rich uh, yeah. You get, or unite! I mean, or unite and try and overthrow them. The place is probably covered. They're probably all contained within like a, a biosphere, correct? Um, well, the temperature is like. The temperature is fine. So, like, they don't actually need to be covered. Okay. It's just, it's just like the city is. It's. Um, I guess the richer cities will be like walled just to keep out. Like we don't want to hang out with uh, just to keep out the microbes. No, it's not even the microbes. <laughs> the poor people, right? Like we don't want to hang out with yeah. the poor. We're the we're the bureaucrats. We're the rich. We're the uh, we're the nobles, etc. So like, so they probably have like walls to allow access to people in and out. And the only people who come in and out that are not of that class are probably servants or like workers. But otherwise. Um, uh, otherwise, it's like fairly normal. Like there would be parks that are engineered so that it would survive in this uh, on this planet. So it's like just grass and trees brought over from or grown here uh, using seeds from Earth and whatnot. Um, so what you guys delivered was like basically a stuck-up kid's new apartment's furniture. So you guys luckily sent, uh, got. Um, access into like the richer areas of this uh, of this planet, and you stayed the night. Um, yeah. Uh, there is uh, media. So if you guys haven't, um, if you guys uh, did not like really go over the history uh, of the the game in there in the size of the numbers, so uh, fast and light travel is obviously available since you have a ship that can do so. Um, the thing is it's is that uh, fast and light um, messaging is not available, so um, media media is very localized to like clusters of systems um, and then larger really well-known things usually take time or actual like needs not really physical mail, but like at least a data storage, because like um, to deliver messages across from uh, sec uh, not sector to sex from system to system is literally ships who uh, there are ships who collect um, say like emails or messages on their hard drive and then they bring it over, and then each system will ha each uh, system will have a satellite. Or of some sort to collect these uh, mails and deliver it to the correct people. <laughs> um, there is a few. There is a few uh, com companies that specialize it. There uh, specializes in these. There's two communications uh, companies, as well as um, there is a few people who abuse these with like uh, journalism. Um, there. What was it? Entertainment, which includes like, um, which can include like stars, music, uh, movies, to just like books, um, uh, the more adult entertainment, among other things. So I believe you guys spent money for the hotel that evening or that night. Yes, for the first <clears throat> night. Uh, I think someone we, I think we had rented bed. a car as well, and it, yeah. that totaled out to be 75 credits. Cool. Um, yeah. 
Um, so the next, yeah, the next day. Um, do you guys have any plan for plans for today? Uh, how many days did uh we make that deal for? How long was she that? She said it'll be um the uh she'll contact you within uh 24 hours and the deal should be done within 48. Okay, that's good. Um. I would sheepishly encourage my captain to seek additional opportunities, though, to sort of, you know, add something into the books for a, a next mission. Right, right, yeah. How do we go about doing that? All right, so, um, like the communications, uh, like the communications um, the network, there is actual, like, um, there is, like, a culture spacer, I believe, which is basically a reference to, like, um, the... It's not really a CD bar, but, like, the, basically a scene for those who have... who own ships and are available to do work. So you can go through that. There is also, like, um, uh, I guess... I wouldn't really call it Facebook, but I'm, I guess, like, uh, not Reddit either. What's that stupid Facebook? thing? What's the stupid thing that was that the murderer guy that um, people sell things locally, and uh, a murderer used it to meet people and kill the pe- uh, kill them? Craigslist. Craigslist. Craigslist? Yeah, it's closer to. <laughs> that's it. Um, so it's closer to like there is like a sort of Craigslist for um, for spacers um, that may or may not be used depending on the system. Um, of course, you can literally go to a government agency and it's like, I have a ship. Do you guys have? Do you guys have work for us? Like, you can go through that. There's like, or you can go to bars and clubs and see if anyone picks you up because you're in a spacer club. Okay, so I explained to Triella. I'm like, I agree, and uh, I'm not really interested in any of the art uh, that these uh, these rich fucks are accommodated to anyway. Like I think it's all, uh, it's all bad. It's all bad art. So I'm not interested in it. And then uh, I think the method that we would choose is to, yeah, try to use like my culture spacer uh, yeah. skill to uh, find jobs from a job board. Cool. Sure. I, I'd go with that as well. Seems good. Um, sure, make a culture spacer plus, I think, charisma would be the most appropriate statistics to add to that. Okay, got it. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> my god. <laughs> um, I, I did a little bit better. Just a bit, right? <laughs> yeah, just a bit. <laughs> Um, the difference is quite... Okay. It's a huge so. difference. <laughs> <laughs> one is generally a fail, and the other one's quite successful. <laughs> um, Alright, um, so... Uh... Yeah, I, I'm like, mm, nothing, there's nothing, no good jobs. <laughs> there can't be anything here, this place looks like shit. You, like, step out before you even go into... The, you you, you kind of, like... You look at the bar and you're like, there's no way there's jobs in there. And you kind of like, more dis- you, you might go inside, but you more dismiss those who approach you than anything else. Uh, oh, Oleg, um, are you, are you like, uh, you have, I see that you have like guns, you have like a monoblade combat rifle, you're, you're, you're like carrying yeah. those, you're like carrying um, those well- pretty openly. My rifle is in my backpack, so that shouldn't be able to be seen. But the monoblade and the sun baton are very obvious. All right. So like. Also, I have plate armor on. All right. So plate armor is pretty obvious, yes, but it's not like you're wearing a medieval full plate. So right. It's but, like, but it's yeah, it's obvious nonetheless. It's not obvious nonetheless. So full. is is your is your like you're from you're from a um uh, you're from a more military background so it's like is your plate armor decorated is your do you have like a uniform kind of thing um actually it has no markings whatsoever all right but what about your features and whatnot do you have like a soldier look to yourself where you try to like be uh, yeah a little bit look. but i have kind of shaggy hair that's 
sort of getting along. Alright. So, um... Let me go look at my faction template. So I take it the narrative that's developing here is like, maybe I was looking for a safer job, and uh, Oleg was like, that there can't not be no jobs. So he went yeah. and checked it out and for himself. Some, yeah, and some guy came up to him and is looking for a more uh, military uh, job, judging by your looks, right? So... Um, I think they're a little bit too far for you. So, um, um, uh, so a man approach uh, a man approaches you, uh, Oleg, and um, at the bar, and he doesn't really he he tries and keep it on the down low, and he's like. Um, and he he asks if you're like looking for are you looking for uh, I hear that like you're part of a crew are you looking for a job? Yes, I am. And he's like, like you don't have to. Uh, he he kind of like he looks around and kind of uh, and he kind of uh, uh, like tell, he acts he tries to make it like you don't have to be you don't have to be that that enthusiastic it's only it's only I'll, I'll yeah. stoop my head really low so <laughs> like I'm gonna be able to whisper to him and it's like um <clears throat> it's like um I I need to um uh I need to del- uh I need to have uh uh I have I need to deliver this to Where's my... I have this all written down, and I can't find this stupid document that I... Give me one second, sorry. I lost all my documents. So he's like, I have a. Um, I need I need I need something to be retrieved to be retrieved from um, Zwabi and delivered to uh, a city on uh, on Antonius. And he's like, Are you up for uh, Are you up for this um, opportunity? I, I put my finger up like I'm saying one moment, and mm-hmm. I look around and look for the others. Well, you don't have to. You also have um, you guys have compads, which are basically um, super iPhones, if you think about it that way. So you can communicate via that. Yeah, say, I, I, I still look around for them. All right, cool. I'm probably pretty close by. Is there yeah. this is, is there a bar? Yeah, you guys are in like a, a spacer hangout, so like a bar or like a restaurant or a club-ish scene. Yeah, let's say that I'm getting a drink. Yeah, so at least um, at All least right. Theo is there. I don't know if uh, Tri- I feel like I would be standing outside, like yeah. just by the door or something, being discreet and not very social as a person. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, I don't really want to walk inside there after these guys. Probably. All right. So, so with my one finger up, I yeah. use my other hand to motion Theodore over here. All right. Okay, I, I take notice, and I walk over, and I cool. assume that this is about a business deal. Uh, I, I shh. <laughs> I kind of get a smile on my face, like... <laughs> This is um, funny. Yeah. So, so the man repeats his proposition, saying that he has cargo that needs to be delivered from, uh, from sorry, from Zwabi, uh, which is two systems over, to back to here in Antonius. Uh, <coughs> all right. So the locations look good. Um, uh, what's your price and what are you carrying? In that order. What's your price and what you're carrying in that order? Um, let me, sorry, let me write this down before I forget. 
delivery from Zuavi to Antonis. Um, so he'll pay for uh, he'll pay for fuel and another um, and, and an additional ten thousand with no questions asked. If uh, if no questions are asked, sounds like a pretty good price. Uh, as long as you handle all of the uh, smuggling on your end into our ship, we will will accept the job. Um. Um. We can. I can give you. Uh, he's like. Um, the the cargo will be marked. Uh, well, the cargo uh, should be able to pass the security coming in, um, but uh, and uh, uh, I'll give you my I'll give you the contact um, to I'll give you the contact for at Zuabi for you to um, pick up the cargo. Um, uh, does anyone have? I think Culture Spacer was like a everything, or was it Culture Space? Uh, Culture Traveler would be... Oh, sorry, Culture Traveler. Yeah. Does anyone have Culture Traveler? I do not. No. All right, no. so uh, I want to add one stipulation to this deal. Uh, sure. If, if you're so confident in uh, its ability to pass uh, security, then I would ask for a 25% uh, upfront uh, payment. He's like, oh... Um uh, sure. If you hand in, uh, hand in the, if you give me your, um, the, the, the info, uh, your account info, I'll happily transfer you the money. All right. So. And if there's some way I could give him my identity so that, uh, if I, uh, do him wrong, he knows who to come after, I would be much obliged. Sorry. Oh, he you want his, uh... No, if you, you want, if you wanted my like specifics on my identity, so he could hunt me down if I uh, if I try to trick him here. Um. He. Uh, he. It's more like he gives you a. He gives you a. Um, uh. He gives you like a, a contact. He gives you two contacts. So the one on Zuabi. Um and one uh and his uh a number four to contact him by. Okay. So let me write that down as well. And Yeah, and he says he needs it within. Uh, he would need it within 24 days. Okay, it's doable. Um, during this time, you guys are making this deal. Um. A trailer, you get you get a you get a call from a uh, from an unknown number. Okay, well I answer and raise the compad slowly to my ear. <laughs> uh, um, a uh, another uh, a uh. Let me find a, a pretty. They're all pretty crappy names. So, um, so uh, uh, it sounds like a a young a young boy over the phone. He tells you it's like, um, uh, at um, tomorrow tomorrow evening at eight. Uh, tomorrow evening at eight. Meet at uh, meet at uh, the location. I'm gonna send you, and then before, and then he hangs up, and uh, a few seconds later, a um, 
uh, I guess like a GPS um, uh, a GPS marker is given is sent to your phone. Okay, great. I spin around and stroll inside, <laughs> and like I, I use my hawk eyes to locate the party as fast as possible, and like I just kind of enter the conversation don't really say anything but i like if you guys are poking around on compads and things i just like stick my compad into the mix with the information <laughs> on display there just like for everyone to see these coordinates <laughs> oh including the random guy that yeah the, the random yeah. guy like stares there at is. you like you're like stares at uh, looks at you funny as you just walk into this conversation and like shove your compad into a uh, theodore or um Oleg's face. It's like, here, guys, take a look. I recognize what I'm seeing. All right. Um, so the coordinates is to um, it uh, takes you out of this uh, richer area into you know into um, a poor city about mm, four hours drive away. Mm. Someone messaged. Uh. What's up? Oh, he's back. Hey, hey. Um, you miss them getting jobs, and you miss Trela being the most social person ever, right? Right, guys? Yeah, you didn't yeah. miss much. <laughs> She's working on herself. <laughs> um, yeah, so it takes... Eight it's like we're still in the bar. Yeah, so it's like four hours. The, the city's about four hours away, and um, um, you, know, you know without... Uh, you know that it's like not the most uh, safe area or the most um, rich area on the planet okay it's still early in the day here right uh yeah okay we'll say like around after so oh, is start. this the day after we've paid for uh rooms yes it is. yes it is okay so we're gonna have to make a, a second payment uh do we make the same payment for the vehicle plus the rooms um the vehicles you can uh yes the vehicle is the same um you have a choice now because you can either go over there go to the new city and stay there of which you can't get anything better than low like shitty accommodations um or you can stay here and have better accommodations and drive over tomorrow i feel like if we have the better accommodations we better role play it like how <laughs> how nice are these like <laughs> You gotta tell me how comfortable I am here. <laughs> You're comfortable, right? Um, so it's um, you guys are still visitors, and it's still like um, it's just it's uh, it's not like um, the best. So the best accommodation. So you're like I guess you're closer to like a Holiday Inn kind of accommodation. So like you have enough space to stretch your arms and legs. There's like a desk. There's definitely like uh, there's definitely internet. <laughs> Yeah, this uh -huh. is this is more within my level of comfort personally. Compared to like say if you go over there you're like sleeping in Motel Seven where the bed is probably stained, the sheets are cr uh the sheets are crusty. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um the T V might not even work. <laughs> like it's like you walk into the bathroom like two cockroaches are chasing after each other and then a rat comes and jumps on one. Yeah, here we get complimentary <laughs> towels, we got Yeah. yeah. That's like that. We that's can the, iron our clothes if we wanted to. Yeah, that's the difference. That you have. All right. So, uh, yeah, I think we're prepared to make another payment of seventy-five credits. <laughs> um. Yeah. So increase your uh, ship payment by twenty-five hundred, I believe. Right. Since you accepted that deal to deliver the things from Zuabi. Yes. We'll do that. Cool. I did it. Um. All so. Right. Uh, I'll uh, I'll go ahead and and pay for everything in advance, and then I'll just send a text to everybody telling them not to worry about it. All right, cool. Um, yeah. So, uh, Jason, if you still want to change into a transgenics, we can do with that after everything is done today, or uh, after all the all the stuff today, unless you want to do it now really quickly um yeah was there a big process or i mean <laughs> no, um 
Not really. Just tell me what animal you want. Um, I'm debating. I've been debating all day whether you should be rerolling your stats or not. Um, but uh, it doesn't. I don't think it really matters that much. So yeah, just tell me what uh, what you're bred with. Uh, cat, and we'll just do the eyes and the ears. All right. Cool. So and then your dexterity is boosted to a fourteen. Okay. I mean, I think I rolled the most average of stats in character creation. Yeah, it's fine. I don't think... Uh, 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 Oleg actually has a... Uh, oh, never mind, because he I got to bump it. his dexterity up, so he has a net of one. Yeah. Oleg has Oleg has amazing stats, and he will <laughs> you will crush a man with his bare hands. It's, <laughs> it's so character fitting. He's got tremendous strength, but his intelligence and wisdom are pretty low. That's yeah. not, and a military background, just follow the leader, right? What they say is true. Do what you're oh. told. Um, uh, so yeah, so um, the day is uh, the day is relatively calm for the rest of the day. Uh, you're in a city that's like extremely nice. So you're like in a pretty big metropolitan. Like the streets are. The streets are clean. There are like there are people who um, I get. Uh, there are people who uh, um, sweep the there's, like. There's always someone like at least sweeping the sidewalks and whatnot to like keep any every anything and everything clean. Um, like uh, tiny grab sweepers hum around. No man, we have to hire real people. Oh, because they because they, they even take care of the corners. Grab sweepers can't get into the corners. All right. It's um and it's uh like uh like trees are being trees are trimmed if not being trimmed like uh even the cars even like the grab cars that are driving by is like spotless. Um only the only thing that like breaks the scene every so often is like maybe a truck or um like a truck or something deliver like something obvious. Uh, being delivered from um, the poorer cities or delivering to the poorer cities so like garbage trucks are probably kind of look a little bit run down dirty um, buses containing the workers um, from the poor poorer cities into the into into town or out of uh, are a little bit out of shape um, like dented probably like a little bit dented here and there and whatnot all right, so I think I would intentionally wear the clothes that I wore yesterday, uh, just in rebellion against <laughs> this the cleanliness of the area. <laughs> yeah, fastest immaculate uh, place. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So like on the streets are like normal. Um, are this place is rather um, open about like no matter what you are. Um, so there are humans and transgenics um, walking about the street. Um, a lot, you actually see, um, you actually see a lot of, um, a lot, uh, every so often you see like guys or girls in like plume, f uh, with like feather plumes or like a, kind of yes. like a mane. Like, you, it feels like transgenics uh, so uh, is uh, is bred uh, so or developed uh, here uh, as uh, like uh, um, uh, for uh, charisma to like look. Uh, they're like it's almost like used and trimmed to like look better than others. Hmm. Oh. So it's more socially acceptable here than uh, in other worlds. It's. It's slightly, it's more socially acceptable in this uh, location, and also, like, it's being used as um, as entertainment, I guess, in some ways. Um, yeah. So, Oleg, what do you think of that? I'm a little uncomfortable. Like. <laughs> I by lo locking eyes with any transgenics. So like you stare them down, kind of. No, I, I'm trying not to look at. Them. Oh, okay. You're trying to not look at them. Um. So um, you guys walk on the street at all, or you guys just like go back to the hotel and relax for tomorrow is the deal. We 
We were in like a space of bar. Guess, you guys were in a bar, yeah. Okay. Um, is it like so high class that trying to find access to unsanctioned substances of some kind would be really frowned upon? Like, do I look around and think that's not a good idea? Um, it's like a little bit of both so it's like a high class bar which you don't know if uh, so it's closer to like it's a high class bar so if they're gonna do drugs it won't be in the open if they're gonna also do drugs it probably will be expensive drugs like you don't expect um, if you go into a cheap bar you expect marijuana if you go into a high class bar you expect cocaine kind of thing okay uh, I um, tried oh go on sorry go ahead I was just wondering if I could, like, look around and maybe see an opportunity to just require something to take the edge off the day. Um, sure. You can make your cultural criminal roll. Yeah. Plus, uh, I think intelligence makes more sense in this case. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. Whoa. Okay then. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> so, um uh yeah, so you find um uh you you find like uh sorry, go ahead. Someone Something said. better than you were expecting for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um you f um you find uh hmm what would be cool? Uh, so, ah, I forgot to have this talk on the first day. Um, is there any lines that I really cannot cross in terms of descriptions or any sort of things that people are actually afraid of? Like, say, um, oh, it's sharks for me. Um, Sharks. No, like, just kidding. Like, That's a joke. Just joking. Okay. With laser. Jesse Cox. <laughs> uh, yeah. Jesse Cox is awesome. But um, but like um, say like, uh, is anyone here homophobic or afraid to not be able to breathe or arachnophobic or um, do not rather not have any like uh anything to do with sex and whatnot. Oh. Nope, don't care. I'm, no, I'm ready for years of counting after good this. So. All right, cool. So, um, so you go into the back. Uh, you go into the more backer corner. Like it's still the the bar or like the a VIP zone. Yeah. So like you wander your way through into the VIP zone, and um, the bar isn't filled, but like it's still it's still occupied in like any at all times of day because like spacers travel a lot, and so they're like. I guess jet lagged is the closest thing to um, to describe it. So a lot of people are in different time zones. So this place is always filled. So you wander your way back into like the more high class zone, and then um, you find a you find a a, a couple, obviously um, obviously high on something or another, and. Um, before you, before you can even react, they like push past you, but the but the girl grabs you by like the hand or shoulder and drags you into their room. Okay, I don't really resist that. <laughs> uh, and uh, and the, the the door opens and like almost and like closes. The door opens and closes pretty quickly, and on the table is like spread multitudes of. Uh, Highly illegal substances that are pro like that are like uh, that are in the state of uh, being op uh, closed, open, being opened, and being consumed. So these guys know how to finish a deal. These guys know how to party. Like, and then they like they they dragged you in. Like the girl dragged you in. The guys there, and there's like f uh, there's a few more couples in there and they're like in different states of dress on dress and like consuming of these uh drugs okay and then they're just like they see you they just drag you in they like invite you to partake in this uh, uh hedonistic um party with them i guess i'm down <laughs> why not 
I'm not ripping off my clothes, but I'm not also not leaving. Alright. So this is your this is your afternoon, I'm guessing. Afternoon evening. Yeah, I mean we can fade fade out we'll on that if you from, prefer. We'll yep. fade out from this as you enjoy your um hedonistic ways. Um yeah, is any what about everyone else? Do you guys have any plans? Yeah, yeah for the, I uh I'm trying to get the latest interstellar news on corporations. Um, so, uh, the, so Egoist, um, the post I, uh, the thing I posted mm-hmm. is, um, is like one of the more, uh, popular, um, I guess newspaper, uh, slash tabloid. It's like a little bit of both. So they have actual news and then at the same time, like they also publish a lot of like, well, yes, uh, tabloid in their entertainment section. Um, and that, and that is like usually the most up to date thing, um, in terms of, um, that kind of news. Um, there's always like local news, but that's more, um, system focused compared to like sector um there is i believe where is my operations i think i only have community i have only one in journalism but i have two in communications telephone yeah so uh, Rogers Communications and Daybreak Cornet. Uh, Daybreak Cornet is um, they do closer to um, yeah anyone Canadian. No, no. everyone. Everyone's from the U.S. All right, never mind then. <laughs> All right, I thought I thought I thought the joke was there because Rogers Communications like the biggest Canadian uh, telecom company. Um, uh. But, uh, yeah, so, like, they deal in mostly, um, in, like, spreading of, um, spreading of really general news, so, and theirs probably come out, say, uh, their news probably come out, uh, monthly, um, whereas, um, Egoist has more, um, in terms of, uh, in terms of, uh, sector-wide news is probably weekly in terms of uh, um, in terms of like uh, system-wide news. So like uh, planet per planet, they like probably have an office in every planet that has um, a hundred like well, worth enough people to go read them. Right. Okay. I would I would think that I probably wouldn't trust Egoist as much as I would uh, trust the telecom businesses. Okay. And what I'm mostly looking for is uh, major political and economic news. Oh, major political and economic news. So, let me jump to my thing. Where are you? Sheet. So, in terms of um, uh, in terms of political news, so um, there's always been there's always been the uh, what was it called? Uh, uh, is what? this one of the telecom the, businesses you're looking no, for? No, it's um, it's the it's part of the backstory of um, of of uh, stars that are numbers. So uh, the enterprise, or is it? I think um, the guys who do the exchange. Sorry, yes. There's always there was always the exchange, which was um. Which was basically, uh, in terms of in terms of the history, was started by some Buddhists. Um, that is supposed to be like the most neutral, uh, it's, uh, neutral party for the between every sector everywhere. Um, but now that has been that has collapsed because of the scream, and there's like less um, communication between sectors and the communicate. Uh, and so, um, there is uh, G- uh, the a new company has uh, new, or newer company or corporation is starting to is trying to do what the exchange was doing, and it's called the uh, Galactic Organization of Trades and Tariffs. 
um, and they have, uh, and they are kind of like the, they're trying to be the, the exchange in the sector. Okay, how do, uh, how, I want to get the name of that again. Galactic Organization of Trades and Tariffs. Okay. Um, okay, so, uh, I figure there's probably some religious news, uh, I'll, I think I'll try to come up with some of the, the religious news that I'm interested in or trust. Mm-hmm. Or, uh, let's see here. So, the biggest, um, the biggest religion, um, that is, it's not like, uh, sorry, the biggest religion will be the New Prophet Eastern Orthodox Church. Yeah, okay. And they, um, um, they don't have, uh, it's, it's written there, they don't really have a universal leadership, but they do have, like, um, uh, uh, a demagogue, I think, is the best, uh, is the, is the correct term. It's, like, um, kind of like a leader, but, um, a guy who's really influential in the, within the, uh, okay. within the religion. So do we know he's, uh, if he's alive or not? Yes, he is. He's like the new. The people treat him like the people talk about him as like he's the reason why they're they're called the new prophet. Like they treat him like a prophet. Right. Okay. So I am interested in news about him. Uh, other than that, though, I'm very interested in the syncretic Muslim Confucianists. Uh, the sorry, the syncretic. Oh, okay. at the top. Yeah, Confucianism. They confuse people. Um. <laughs> Uh, let me add this. So, like if they had their own uh, spin on political events, that would be one of the ones that I would usually want to read. Um, so, uh, they are, um, synchronic Muslim Confucianists. I guess they would be the most, uh, they're the most worshipped on um, Naomi. Okay, yeah, that would make sense. Um, uh, but then they're still they're like a rather small um, they're a rather small group of uh, um, sorry no Naomi they'll be yeah they're rather large on Naomi they don't really support the divide between the um, the the Asian and the Middle Eastern, like the Asian and Middle Eastern um, yeah. divide. Yeah. But um, they don't. The uh, but they don't go against it. So like they're trying to be, they're trying to stay as far away from this conflict as possible. I would assume, uh, considering that uh, Alam slash Naomi is such a educational or scholastic place, that it would uh, the the people who are part of those Confucianists would generally. Uh, write articles themselves or publish articles themselves about political events um they would uh they they're closer to they do publish um <clears throat> they don't publish uh events per se but they do publish um I, I don't think propaganda is the correct word but they like they publish things to uh try and uh keep the peace so like they're not trying to like um they're push. more neutral than yeah. any of the other. Or they're, it's um, not even like, neutral. It's like, don't fight. We don't want fighting. Right, so. right. I'm, I'm assuming think. there's like, you know, that like there's some people there, some people within that who are akin to like the modern day blogger, though, right? Um, yes, there, there should be. What, okay. what exactly are you looking for? Uh, just Is any, there... any. Yeah, I mean, my character would be generally interested in following their, their sorts of opinions. Okay. Um, uh, so, like, mostly the the Confucianists are um, are just basically trying to keep the peace. There's uh, and Naomi is still um, uh, in term. Alam Naomi is still like school first, everything else second. So um, there's a lot of um, if you want news from that from that uh, um, system. Is more like scientific. Uh, it's more like new scientific journal has been published. Um, we're developing. Uh, we'd like to try and develop uh, uh, psychic schools 
to help train and maintain uh, MES. Okay, right. Uh, um. And like, or maybe find, um, uh, there might be news for people who are um, anti-psychics. Who think that MES is actually a disease and should be uh, should be should have a cure found as opposed to managed, which is what's happening right now. So stuff like that, but not like um, nothing very political comes out of uh, Naomi in terms of um, going into this, uh, in terms of news going to the sector compared to the educational uh, news that you know, uh, that Alam Naomi is so um, known for. All right, so I'll develop uh, more on d ideas about that later. But uh, lastly, I am interested in the Iguana Society, uh, from uh, which is a political group. A uh, political group, the Iguana Society. Where are they? Oh, Iguana Society. Uh, bourgeoisie or okay, immigration generals. Um. So uh, the Iguana Society and the um. Uh, you know, yeah. So there's two major, major parties um, in terms of uh, on on um, what was it uh, Antonius? Um, aside from okay, sorry. There's three. There's two, which is led by the um, the rich, the bourgeoisies, which is the Dove Party and the Iguana Society. Um, the Dove Party believes in. Um, like, uh, there. Do you guys see the issues? Oh, that right. They? Okay, I would actually be interested in both of those groups. Yeah. Do you guys see? Oh yeah, you guys see the issues. So. Um, oh. They're xenophobic, see? though. The Dove Party. Yeah, they're afraid of. Sorry, who is messaging? Oh, I was trying to just do something yeah. while you guys are. Oh, that's fine. No? Um, the. So the Dove Party's um uh the Dove Party like wants to the wants the rich to remain rich, and their reform is basically against the uh the iguana the iguana society is more um, closer to, um, how uh they're like more hidden I think they're more into like the pleasure of um, being rich so like. So okay. the, dove part, the dove party is like we must gar gather more more money, more power, so that we can gather more money, more power. And then Iguana society is closer to like um, the rich should get richer because the government doesn't care about them, and then the rich can do whatever the he they want because they're rich, kind of thing. Okay, so it says that the Iguana Iguana society is uh, its policy is autarky. So are they actually uh, really committed to being self-sufficient, or are they? Are do they believe that other people should basically do things for them and just yeah, be a part of it? Yeah, that's the second one. Like they, like um, their self, their 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 vision of self-sufficiency is like basically using the poor to make okay. them richer. So I think they're a bunch of hypocrites, and I don't like yeah, yeah, either yeah. of them. <laughs> okay. But I am, I am interested in some of the issues uh, between those two parties specifically. Yeah. There's also like um, let me drop this down. What I say about them because I'm making them all these up off the top of my head. Uh, don't care. Just want to. Life. Um, yeah. So um, they. It's like two. Um, it's closer to. Since like uh, it's since this planet is uh, an oligarchy more than anything else, um, unless it's written differently and I should change it. Uh, sector map, Antonius doesn't say good. All right, cool. I can make whatever the fuck I want. Oh, okay, cool. It's an oligarchy. <laughs> um, um, so what happens is. Uh, like that the two parties is closer to a um, is closer to a, a, a like a rich man's club than anything else. So like they ask um, they ask their partners and then they like have um, it, it, on the surface it looks like a democracy, like because people vote and whatnot. But like the poor um, like behind the scenes um, 
you can you don't you can tell from the general behavior um, that like the pores the poor don't really matter and it's just these two parties trying to like one up each other yeah um there is like um there is a third party that is like uh that is not really where is it there's a, a union for a popular movement is um the uh is the the poor trying to is trying to like um garner more support from the poor and um they are like the most um vocal about uh about the complaints that like the the bourgeoisie is is uh, is taking advantage of us we need to put a stop to them and okay. uh, and a lot of times they're uh, arrested on the spot for uh, alleged crimes that they have not committed all right i'm interested in that news union for a popular movement yeah Cool. Uh, that will do it. Uh, I'll just say that it covers uh, a general list of interest of mine for now. We could perhaps develop later. Yep. Uh, voice of the poor on Antonius. Anyone else have uh, things they'd like to do before tomorrow? I don't think so. Yeah. Well, if I'm still well, in this yeah. place, I would kind of like to see somehow if I've been able to develop any kind of uh, connection with someone like a new contact who Addiction could perhaps be my hooker slash future business partner. Slash future business partner. Um, let's see, where is my... Luckily, I do have an NPC list. Damn it. This is m mostly for my own peace of mind, though. This is for your own peace of mind. Um, mm, let's go with... Uh, you didn't catch any last names, but like... Um, a a pink haired uh, a pink haired young man with um pink feathery plumes about around his uh around his neck that like it it looks from afar it looks like a um it looks like a, a scarf but um up close you can tell that it's like it's actually closer to it's actually growing from him and uh, you didn't get his, uh, you didn't catch any last names, but um, his name was a Andis, A N D I S, and um, he found you very fun to play with uh, and quite entertaining while uh, high, uh, uh, well, uh, out of your, out of your mind on every uh, drug known to man, <laughs> uh, or within this uh, on this on this planet, anyways. So. Do I feel like I would be able to return here and, like, go into the back room again without being questioned and, like, beaten in an alley or something? <laughs> um, he... You can tell that he's taken, like, uh, he's taken an interest in you. Okay. Um, whether... You can't really tell if it's, like, uh, a romantic interest or just looking at you like a toy. Kind, okay. of that kind of way um, but he's definitely has an interest in you and he would um, if uh, if you would contact him he would definitely talk with you sorry what was the name uh, Andis and oh, yeah. and uh, I just want to like ask really quickly before I go if 15 credits is enough to get me any stuff to take away um no, it's like it's closer to you should probably leave that fifteen credits as like a sort of payment for the nothing you brought into the party and consumed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So let's fill this in. Uh You can put whatever notes you want. All right, cool. 
Um, yeah, so should we skip to the next day? Fun. Then. All right. So morning breaks pay for the rooms if you haven't already. Did that, got that done. Cool. Um, so yeah, um, you do, uh, sorry, Trela has the coordinates to the city to the meeting point, but that's not till later in the evening. Okay, yeah, so we, uh, make sure we time this correct, uh, make sure we set out, maybe, maybe even a little bit earlier than, uh, we would anticipate. So about the meeting place, kind of? Yeah, so you want to get there, like, about half an hour earlier, an hour earlier, I don't know, half a day earlier, how early do you want to get there? <laughs> well, uh, how good of an estimate can we get, perhaps using things like GPS to, uh... Your, your phone, okay, so comm pads are basically super iPads, so, like, if you, if you drive, uh, if you drive like a normal person, you'll get there in four hours. So I can get, like, an estimate from, uh, yeah, from Google your Maps? Account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, they're right. normal men. <laughs> yeah. So Slash if you drive like if you drive like me, you'll probably get there in three. But like, uh, so uh, mm -hmm. so that would be on the highway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you drive like you, maybe it take like. Do I have like a? a hours, but <laughs> <laughs> do I have like a good idea of uh, what sort of like rush hour would be when there would be a good chance of tra there being traffic? So, um, the traffic is usually, so there's like the morning traffic, which usually ends, uh, which is like the, uh, the, the servants and the street maintenance people coming in at like six ish in the morning. And then in the evening as well, it will be like people starting to leave from like normal rush hour. So like for, uh, starting around four o'clock to like six o'clock, it will be like pretty rushed. Seven o'clock, it'll still be slightly trafficy, but um. All right. So what's the uh uh? And your meeting time is eight. And that at night. All right. In the evening. Okay, so we want to set out uh an hour early. Yeah. So. Now be four o'clock. So you move three o'clock and um. So, yeah, none of you guys can drive grab vehicles, right? No. Uh, no none of you have skill in grab vehicles, right? Yeah, you guys not particularly well. All right, so, okay. So, um, you guys go through this. Uh, you guys, what's your, who's driving? The, is Theo driving? Yeah, I assume I would generally take that role. No one else wants to be ridiculed for driving. <laughs> <laughs> or or we could just try to, you know... Who, who's Cut shotgun? down the total shotgun? amount of pain so that I'm the only one experiencing it. <laughs> so who's shotgun? I'd probably be shocked. All right. Um, so back seats are too small for me. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that giant. Um, that half his body out the window. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an arm. It's <laughs> a card like slightly Is dipping like in one. Strong bad. <laughs> Slightly dipping on one side whenever you like go into near like if there's like a lake or something that you go near he can like put his hand in the water and like drag across. Um, no, so like, uh, you go, uh, <laughs> you drive over there. Like, there's nothing special except that one time where you like try and tell a joke. You turn back and like uh, try and see if uh, a trailer is laughing at your shitty joke. She's not, but like you, you distract. Acted, you're like drifted into another lane, and uh, Oleg and Oleg like quickly is like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Gra grabs the wheel and like back away. So, like, otherwise, like not that eventful. It sounds like if I were actually driving, yeah. <laughs> um. So. Yeah. And so, like, aside from that almost accident, um, uh, there is nothing, nothing particularly, nothing particularly eventful for your ride there. Uh, so coming into the poor, uh, the the more rundown city, you can immediately tell that, like even from far away, that it's uh, is it's definitely not a very uh, comfortable area. Um, the like even the wall, the walls are like um, the walls are slightly eroded by the like the sandy out uh, the sandy outskirts. Um, there's less. Uh, the less high rises, the houses are smaller. Um, 
like everything's a little bit gray and like it's pretty depressing being here and um and your card stands out a little bit from <laughs> being from like rented from like the more richer areas okay so if i recognize this then uh i'll like hand uh oleg the keys and like you know get away from the uh where we're supposed to meet uh pretty far away from where we're supposed to meet and then be like oh like why don't you try why don't you take this thing for a drive or drive around or go find somewhere to park isn't o- doesn't, okay doesn't oleg have the drugs oh, oh yeah you said it yeah those are on him <laughs> all right i uh so, do, do you take it yeah i would take it all right okay so. i i give you the- <laughs> all right Oh, I was like, wait a minute, that doesn't really make sense. Um, but okay, so what about Trela and uh, Casper? Um, you guys stay in the car with uh, Oleg, or you guys wander the streets with uh, Theo? No, I, I mean, we should kind of scout out the meeting place. Yeah, I'm curious or, about the uh, the drop zone. And you do yeah. trust her, right? Like, there's we're not walking into like a trap or something. We're not gonna get. Yeah, we, we have some history. That, I mean, okay. I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be prepared for anything still. Okay. So, um, so are you guys gonna like open carry your, take out your weapons and like, at least hang them by your back or have them at the ready so that they're they're available? I have my shotgun like on the back as usual, but when we actually go and like 8 p.m. draws close, to, I, I'm gonna do the typical like goon thing and like shadow um oleg i mean theo sorry and be like you know slightly intimidating not <laughs> provocatively intimidating uh i probably have my uh revolver somewhat concealed underneath my leather jacket around like around a harness that i have around my waist suppose like my character has like has an advanced bow so i'm trying to stay farther away because there's no good way to like have a bow and not like look like you're gonna use it. <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot you've got so, a bow. <laughs> yeah, I'm like what are a hundred yards away? Or, oh, let's see what the range is. I'm, I'm closer, you know, to that uh, like eighty-five yard range. But before where, you take you know, off, I'm like, play safe, Casper. <laughs> um. Yes, yeah, so I plan on providing uh, cover. And I'm providing cover. All right. So, um, so like the. By the way, can I just say I'm not going to train my weapon on anyone. I want to look like I'm protecting the deal as it goes down. Like I'm here for both. Well, you guys are there like an hour early. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm just making. Right, it clear. I, I kind of want to make like maybe a perception roll just to see what the maybe the general, like the way people are looking at us. Okay, that's that's sure. Go ahead. All right, so that would be my persuade plus um, no perception, perception wisdom. Yeah, perception plus uh, wisdom. All right. Oh, oh yeah. All right. Perfect. Um. So. Um. You. It's obvious that like when uh, when you're getting out of the car, when you're driving in, those walking on the streets are getting off the bus and whatnot. Like they eye you. They're like, what the hell? Why are these people in this car coming into this place? Mm-hmm. Right. No. Um, otherwise, you don't see anything special. Uh, the meeting place seems to be um, a. Oh, that matters. Okay. So it's a five. Um. So. Like, it, it, the meeting place uh, seems to be a um, kind of like a, 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 par- uh, uh, a, ch- a children's park. Oh my gosh, okay. But, um, but like, um, like the slide, the, the, the slide is broken, the swing is, uh, the swing, like the board on the swing, the chains are still there, but like the, the seat is like uh, not attached on one side so I was just hanging it's All like right. run down and it's pretty it's pretty run down um, definitely kids aren't out, out anymore because it's getting late into uh, it's going into the evening um, but you do see people like walking around uh, like walking back from or driving back from their uh, from their bus uh, oh right from work and back home 
Oh, uh, yeah, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, as long as, uh, so do I get, like, I guess I probably wouldn't know what the law enforcement around this area is, but I kind of suspect that it's pretty much none. Sorry, like law, enf law enforcement? Yeah. Um, it's, um, so, uh, Um, so, the, 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 a uh, law enforcement, there is law enforcement. I get, yeah, because like, she did mention it. You, there is law enforcement, like, everywhere, but, like, it's, it's kind of like, um, I guess anyone, like, the, the outside view of, like, from, uh, of Detroit, like, right? So, like, there are cops there, but they won't go into a dangerous area at night. The ghetto? Oh, okay. Yeah, like, it's like the ghetto, where, like... Even people with guns don't want to be outside when at night. Except for us. Cause apparently, no. apparently, us. you guys, you guys have gonads of steel. Can I possibly make a perception check to look for like possible escape routes and like the general architecture surrounding this yeah. park? Sure. Oh. I think that's just two d six. Oh my check. gosh! Nailing it. Nailing it. Everyone else is nailing it but you. Um, <laughs> uh, so hey, I'm going to improve each time I roll by one. <laughs> Eventually you'll That's a minus one, per, by the way. For both dice. Oh, that's a minus, still eight. Okay, cool. So, um, so the area is like, um, it's like a park at the corner. So, like, there's two, it's like, the exits are rather obvious. Um, let's see, so like, there'd be, uh, how do I, f how do I have it filled in? I draw this, oh, that makes sense. Alright, cool. Uh, anyways, so like, it's, it's like you're at a corner of the street, so like, exits aren't hard. Right. right. Um, as we come closer to the time of the deal, uh, I, like, I call Oleg on my compad and just, like, fill him in. Just let him know what's going on, so. Alright. I'm Give gonna him play -by -play. go, and I'm actually gonna roll my tactics to try and find somewhere that I won't be seen from the general area that they're all at. But I can still see, like, He's, like, next happening. to a building park, yeah, like, <laughs> on the edge of vision. So we'll say that's the parkish area. So like you want to park like say like across the street or something, so that like you're or yeah, a little bit far, just little somewhere far. where like people aren't walking by and see a giant guy sitting in the car. <laughs> so how about you roll? Um, move along. <laughs> yeah, move along. How about you? I, I rolled roll an eight on the tactics. tactics. How about you roll a uh, stealth with a plus one? With uh, All right. your intelligence, I think that makes more sense. Oh god, <laughs> that's just so gonna be a flat two d six flat roll then. <laughs> that's better than nothing. It's better than minus one, really. Oh wow! Oh yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. Getting there. All right. So, um, <laughs> like maybe like you found like a few, um, you found a few uh, like. Um, puddles or something to like get your car a little bit dirtier than uh, its pre uh, its previous pristine more pristine uh, condition um, you land it slightly far back like off the map and um, uh, if you have sorry is the map up uh, it should, if it yeah. changes the page so yeah. on top hit the tab and then drag the bookmark over to it Wait, we'll just imagine him, like, scraping this graph car down a wall or something <laughs> to get a nice, discreet look. How do we change a page here? Uh, there's uh, a little uh, blue uh, page looking... No, we can't see that. This. Yeah, you have to. You have to like, drag the red book oh, bookmark to oh, okay. this, like, whatever page you're on now. There we go. Uh, uh, Alright, that makes sense. Right, uh, cool. While we're waiting, I am containing my instinct to get my pistol out and pretend like I'm a cowboy. <laughs> but it's definitely there. It's you're fighting it. <laughs> it's like must not be cowboy. Why is this so hard? Um, 
So yeah, uh, let me draw a really shitty car. Uh, we'll say you're about over here-ish. I wish I can make like... Um, can I you type in tap. car and tokens and then try to drag one on or no? Oh, maybe I can do that. That makes more sense. Uh, tokens. Car. Huzzah. Alright, what? What? No, oh, there you go. Um, uh, we'll do the 4chan party van. What? Oh my god. Alright. Here's your nondescript car. Sweet. Uh, let's see how we're gonna slide. Oh yeah, wow, this is amazing. Oh crap. Casper token. Alright. I'm gonna delete the grass because it's stupid. Alright, here. Fuck grass. Fuck grass, who needs that? Did you hear that grass? <laughs> Fuck you! And there's this thing set, and we'll have a little riding horse thingy. <laughs> yeah, all right. That's how that's how occupied this, and the gray is the sidewalk. We'll say. Okay. So, <clears throat> place yourselves in the area. Swinging uh, across the road, I guess. Um. That's cool. Well, I guess not near the van. <laughs> I guess. The van is where... Uh, I'm trying to provide cover. Alright, cool. I will be leaning against uh, some of that uh, playground equipment. Alright. So, why don't you make yourself a tool? You can probably type like a token or yeah, something. Yeah, how do you do this? I don't know how to do anything here. Alright. Um... If you'd like, um, you can use tokens again and just do some random yeah. whatever. And then you can give them control of it, or us control, otherwise people can make their own little thing like. Yeah, so, I don't know. Gun. Man. Uh, do cowboy. See if there's a cowboy. <laughs> cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, cowboy. Boom. Oh damn it. I have to pay for that one. Uh, well, these cow oh, how come this cowboy with like it's a guy with a cowboy hat and a shield and sword? This makes no sense to me. Perfect. <laughs> we get we get the reference. Fine. How do I give it to someone? Okay, now, if you double click him, uh, it should open up like a page. On the bottom left, it'll have uh, controlled by. If you click in there and then select. Whatever the character is. Oh. <laughs> Advanced. No. Sorry, where? On the uh, if you double click it, yeah. Uh, your box on the bottom left ish. This should be like controlled by. Uh, oh, and controlled like, by. Like, there we go. Yeah. So who is the cowboy? Uh, Theo. Theo. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Save changes. Oh, that is my name. I found you. Oh, I got it. I can do All right. it. You can move him. Yeah. All right. So, uh, space, marine. All right, and oh, it's perfect. Look, there's a revolver in one hand and a bag of drugs in the other. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Perfect. Uh -huh. perfect. Um, does anyone I'll, else I'll want a token? A or? I'll take a bow for this bow. Bow. Archer Ranger. <laughs> Archer. Uh, Archer. Controlled by uh, Casper. Save. Sweet. And gun. Oh, no, space. What do we have here? 
Uh, these are pretty shitty. Ah. Uh, um. Some of these tokens are pretty funny and make no sense whatsoever. Um, here we go. Found it. Ugh. You can be uh, Oleg. <laughs> Oleg Smash. Oleg Smash. <laughs> and even though. And this ninja looking guy can be Trela. Terry La. It's a reference to Gunslinger Girl, isn't it? Yes. Alright, that's what I thought. Alright, you are all given your tokens. And you're all the way over here. In the car. Alright. Cool. Um... Uh, Casper got moved. Is that intentional? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, don't worry about the distance exactly, because it doesn't actually really matter. Uh, perfect. Huzzah. All right. Where's the product now? Um, who is who is holding on to the? Yeah, I have it right. Yeah, I've got it. That's Theo's the cowboy. Cowboy. All right. So, I'll put him over here. It's probably terribly represented, but it doesn't matter. So, uh, make a uh, purse once you're done. All right. Make sure you're placed where you need to be. It was going all over the place. I'm still confused as to who is actually who, so I think I'm in the right place now. That's the guy with the briefcase that you're standing beside is the guy who is not there at the moment. I'm right here with the arrows, yeah. the directions. Theo is the one by the swing over there. Um, if you go, if you double click the character again, there's a thing to do a nameplate. Uh, nameplate. Theo. And then there's a little checkbox like above it to display nameplate. Say changes. Does that work? No. Did that work? No, oh, show nameplate. There you go. Save changes. I guess the only the player that controls it can see it. Maybe okay. it's an advanced where you can do where everyone can see it? No. Uh, advance name C. Let's try this. Save. Uh, I don't know, I'm not used to the player side of Roll20. Neither am I. Oh, there you go, Trella. Or Trella. Huzzah. Alright, can everyone see their names? Or, uh, except for... Except for Casper, because you were stuck in a place where your nameplate doesn't show. Awesome. Alright, perfect. So, um... Yeah. So, uh... uh 8 o'clock hits, um... And it's other, it's not like dark. There's still like electricity. There's still street lights, but it's closer to like every every second or every third one is like is is not. There's like not a lot of maintenance. So like every but second or third one is out or yeah, it's like, ghetto okay. dark. Yeah, it's ghetto dark. So um, make a but so make a perception with uh, plus your wisdom. Everyone it should be laughable. Um, so if I. No point. It's minus one, right? Woo! <laughs> oh yeah, the improvement. <laughs> <laughs> I see nothing. Uh, you're too busy trying to adjust your eyes from like the all the internal uh, um, glowing. I'm, I'm looking out of a sunroof that doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> um. Looking for the stars. Looking for the stars. All right. So, um, 
those who got above six, you guys definitely you see you see a man um, see a man approaching from uh, the north side. Uh, uh, he is carrying um, he is carrying like a, a a case, but like it doesn't look like it's for it's it doesn't. It's like it's just for work or something. Like he's he doesn't look all that like special. Um, you guys, but like aside from that, there's actually. Uh, but aside from that, there is nothing on the street. Okay. There's, sorry, there's no one like on the street in the area. Mm -hmm. Um. Theo. You do sense that there is, um, you see, it's not really in the immediate area, but you do catch a lot more traffic um, than the last, uh, than the last little while. But like, it's, it's like, um, a, uh, like a small residential, like it's like about a small residential block um, behind where you are. Like, do you get what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah people walking by or cars no, no it's like it's like cars so like you see like it seems to have even though like it's late at night <coughs> there seems to be it feels like there's a little bit more cars driving around your area okay <coughs> is that behind us um like so it would be to the east. Uh, yeah, to the east. yeah it will be no it's like too uh way far is there a way to expand the map um, if you double click, go to your pages. And the, I think you there's a gearbox for the page you're on. Oh, okay. And you can Here we go. Change the pixels for the page. Oh, sweet. Um, width by height. So, uh, no, it doesn't matter. I don't think I really actually need to change it. So, where is my freehand? So, like, like way, way okay. beyond where the area is. So, like behind so like this is side of the street and then and then there will be houses there and then behind those houses you see like lights of cars driving by okay. and that's it you see more of that than usual all right people will hear the gunshots yes so you won't hear a bow <laughs> <laughs> so the man approaches you i hail yeah. him yep and um, is there any sort of recognized kind of role? Uh, That's sort of the culture. Um, I don't think it's culture. So I think it's just um, uh, a perception with a plus two for tr uh, Terry Law. Okay. Is this what I'm making perception at plus two? Yes, Terry. Only for Terry Law. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, oh, you rolled. Oh, there you go. Very good. So, his voice is actually a lot higher than normal. It's like, it sounds like a little boy. Um, Terry Law, you recognize him as the boy, uh, the voice on the phone that contacted you. Okay. It yeah, I like a wisp of this to Theo. Yeah. It doesn't, um, it doesn't suit him at all. He looks like a little, he looks like a, a, a thug or like a tough, a tough guy. But his voice kind of like contradicts, uh, completely contradicts what like, what his de demeanor is. Okay. Um, so he 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 asks this, like, he, he like bluntly asks, is like, do you have it? Is, is it here? Uh, I'm like, uh, yes. And how do we uh, do the exchange of credits? He just um. Uh, uh, he pulls out his phone. Is like, uh, uh, just show me, show me the content, and if I can, when I, uh, if I can confirm it, um, then I'll just wire the money, and you give me the case. I set the case down on the swing and open it up. Uh, I, I want to like step forwards and just like I'm surveying the area, ensuring there's no like enforcers catching on to what's going on, that kind of thing. Sure. Um, let's have, let's have Casper, 
um, Trela and Oleg make a perception check while Theo's uh, fiddling with the case. With a plus two? Yeah. No. <laughs> that plus two wants to recognize his voice. His voice is rather unique. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. Love that. That's a ten, though. Uh, Casper got a six. Trailer. All right, cool. So let me let me a second. So the Theo turns to the swing and tries to put the thing on it like five times before realizing <laughs> there's no swing. <laughs> Catches the chains, the case. This is gonna work. <laughs> Already started down this path. All right. So, uh, yeah. So you open, you open the case to, uh, you open the case to let him confirm it. Uh, uh, Terry Law. However, you spot. You spot two. Uh, you spot two. Um, two thugs um, walking up uh, from near Casper from across the street. They seem to be. Uh, they seem to be um, like ready to fight. Like they have their. They're holding onto their guns um, and walking down the street, kind of like being all that. Uh, I'm Casper. leaning against a tree. I don't even notice. I'm just like. Um, o Oleg is just watching. Oleg is watching the guy in the park, and Casper is also looking in. So um, you guys, Are they like see anything? Give me one second, please. Sorry. Okay. What the hell is that brown thing? Oh, it's free. <laughs> explaining why I didn't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good call. Um, So quick one. Um, what was the rolls, Casper? All right, cool. All right, Casper, you do see the one that's approaching the street from behind the um, guy with the uh, that's making the deal with you. In my compad, I just like is there, like the one from the west, like in a muffled voice, I guess. Mu so. Can I act now? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so, so it, it's obvious they're like on to us, right? No, um, it's not like they're on, like, they could, you can't tell, like, they could just okay. be gangbangers just coming around to yep. like, check Asserting out. Asserting their presence. Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, so then in that case, I say we, we may have some trouble to Theo. Uh, okay, I quick draw my revolver. Mhm. Mm the guy confirming the, the guy who is here to confirm the deal, like, sees you draw your weapon, and he's like, "Whoa, what the hell, man!" I look to Triella, and uh, yeah, I look to Triella for uh, confirmation. Um, to shoot? No, oh, no. no. Uh, I say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I basically ask, guys, like, right? does does he have men? So, um, oh, okay. You do see, yeah, you, uh, Trela do, does see two guys, um, and from your peripheral, you catch the third as well. Um, Casper, you only see the guy to the north of you. 
I, I say I see two, and I can't tell if they're with him. Uh, so I ask him, are these your men? And he's like, what? And he, and the guy looks around, and he's like, oh, uh, he's, he starts swearing to himself. He's like, no, I don't, I was like, I don't know these people. Okay. Uh, I turn, I guess I turn my, I, my sights to try to, uh, put them on the, yeah, the dudes, the enforcers. All right. Or uh, what kind of, of distance enforcers. are these guys at? Um, we they're like, uh... They're getting, they're close, um, they're, they're walking close enough to, for everyone to be within gun range. Yeah, I need to make a decision, though. Yeah. Um, is it, like, still a hundred foot plus, or somewhere no, around there, or is it, like, like really close? They're, like, across, like, um, it's, like, they're across the street, so, like, across this two-lane road. Okay, um, yeah, I think I still, like, pull my revolver. Okay, so I I think I've got a good idea of what I want to do. All right, cool. Um, so, um, should we should do initiatives? All right. Yes. Uh, there aren't currently any tokens on the page. I take a turn. Right click a token. Add a turn. That's so annoying. Screw it. I'll just use my stupid pad. Notepad. I like using notepad. All right, cool. So everyone, please roll initiative. All right, okay. how's how's that handled? I didn't. I don't it's have. It's a D8 plus your dexterity mod. Okay. Plus one. Pretty good. Pow. <laughs> we have Oleg, who can't see everyone going. Oh no! Never mind. I'm looking at these stars, man. Everybody's Sorry? got plus one to their dex. There's really pretty constellations up there. Nice I'm choices. pretending to be in slow motion, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Casper, Theo, uh, Casper, Theo, Oleg, and Shayla, and Do I have dex bonus? No, I do not. All right. Makes life easier. Uh, so PC always goes first. So, so, um, someone had a five. Oh, I got a five. So, so okay. Yeah. Um. So, Casper, what do you do? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, these guys are probably with the carrier, so I'm just gonna defer until. Is there yeah. a hold action in this? Um, I d actually have not read to see if there is, but if there is, I'm probably gonna do... If there isn't, I'll probably do it like, um, D and D, where you, uh, delay... where you delay and you choose, uh... where you delay until you wish to act, and then you act on that new initiative. Right. Or if you don't act for the entire round, you retain your initiative. Okay. Cool. So, uh... Let Fuck me guess, it. Theo's next? Um, nope. Oh my gosh, what? I get to go next. <laughs> yeah. So, the first, um... Wow. Alright. How much does... Oh. Alright, so the first guy comes out, and then he's like... Yo, uh... He's literally a gangbanger he's like he's like yo um walks up like over here like yo 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 what's up what's up what the hell is going on here you guys don't belong in this neighborhood and he like waves his he waves a stupid automatic pistol around like he's all that what do you guys say what do you guys do do I, am i next um everyone can 
So talking doesn't require, um... I want to act. I want to react, essentially. Oh, sorry? Talking's free. Mm -hmm. Talking doesn't require turn order, but, um, otherwise. So, if there's nothing you want to reply with, uh, next is, uh, Theo. Alright, so I, uh, grab the bag on the swing, and I jump down into sort of, like, where there might be... Uh, like where you know you'd kick your legs and and swing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it might be. So I just take prone in that area over top of the bag and train my sights on the first thug. Alright. <laughs> Some guys will walk up. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on here? So, um. Protect the money. <laughs> protect, protect the drugs. So, um. Are you, are you readying an action? Uh, if I can do that, I figured yeah, I may, yeah, yeah. that may just have counted as an action. I guess, uh, at that point, I would shout, uh, fuck off. <laughs> um, there's no intimidate, is there, in this game? It's in with persuade. Yeah, so... So, yeah, pers... If, uh, um... Go ahead and persuade with your. No. Uh, I just fail. Let's fight. Charisma. <laughs> Charisma, I think. Oh wow! All right. That's amazing. So he, he's like. Uh. So the guy, the guy sees you like the guy sees you just like go prone, like take out your gun, aim for his chest, and he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa! I just, I'm just. Just chill, just chill, man. Just chill. I'm just here. I just I came here to take a look. You're my turf. It's like what the fuck, man. You don't need. It's like you don't. Guns are not needed for this. We're just talking. Oh, um. I just ready an arrow, like you know, yeah, I can knock an arrow. I just don't draw it yet, but I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. So, Thug Watts up over here. So Casper, you definitely catch sight of him. Yeah. And um, let's see, what's my? Good thing there's this tree here to hide me. Yeah, I know, right? Um, attack bonus plus two. So, where am I? So, um, so, a th um, so another guy, another guy walks up and literally, what? No. Oh. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> the tree got cut in half. Um, <laughs> He's actually uh, the upper half of a tree. Yeah. Um, the uh, another guy comes up here, and then you hear a gunshot um, coming out from your the south side, and the bullet whizzes past, like wh whizzes above you, Theo. He's oh like, my gosh. He's like, "Shut the fuck up! What, what are you guys doing here?" He's All right. Like, so can I whatever. act now after that? Oh uh, no. Who? The, oh, no, no, you already acted, right? Okay, okay, I, so, you asked you him if I wanted to hold Yeah, yeah so you moved, and then your your action was intimidate him? With your... Your action was intimidating him? Oh, so I you moved in action. I just meant to tell him to fuck oh. off. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, my bad. But, uh, next will be... The next Oleg. Like, so you definitely know what's going on right now. Can I tell who shot the gun? Um... You see, uh, you you definitely see like the muzzle flash and the um, the thug like behind your car. Um, would it be one action to turn the car on and move it? Um, can I run this guy over? Are you gonna want yeah. me to do this? Are you gonna, <laughs> gonna try and run this 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 this? Yeah, going backward. All right. Like, oh, you only see um, number two, not number three. Yeah, I'll, I'll just go for the one. You go for the number two. All right. Um, you're the most diplomatic party ever. <laughs> just like, fuck off. 
Alright, alright. You can't. Sure. Make a. There's no <laughs> diplomacy with thugs. It's no diplomacy with thugs. Uh, <laughs> so, alright, cool. Make a driving check, please. Alright. With, um, I guess, dexterity. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Sorry? Right. No. Driving, <laughs> driving is. Did you, did you trying my primary to... set? I think that's what you meant was his primary set, right? It's not his strength. <laughs> not his strength. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Good thing there's a tree here. <laughs> you just hear the engine start and the car explodes moments later. No, um, you critical fail. So, um, let's have, um, let's have, uh, let me roll. I do have, uh, where is it? Saving throw, so. <laughs> Uh, why don't Casper? Why don't you roll luck? So D twenty and you have to oh, roll shit. above your. Is it above, or is it it's above? It's above, four, yeah, above four, your. Luck. I'm gonna roll my luck as well. <gasps> okay. Holy shit. Oh, he's oh, supposed to. Is he supposed yeah. to be you make it. Yeah. All right. Cool. So let's have it. Oh my God! Wow, that was intense. <laughs> Let's move you over here. <laughs> I'm just like praising the fact that there's a tree here. I'm like, oh. <laughs> like, <laughs> so Casper, like, literally, he's like, all right, he's going for what? He's not turning. Why is he not turning? Oh, this is what? I don't even check. move. Huh? <laughs> this is luck luck based. Based. I don't even move. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, you don't even fine. move. Like it, it hits the tree, and the tree is the sturdiest thing you've ever seen in your life. Like, <laughs> like, like a uh, Grand Theft Auto pole. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's the invincible Grand Theft Auto pole. So, um, uh, so with sheer luck, oh, well, I guess the unlucky Thug Three gets rolled over by your shitty driving. <laughs> Well, uh, Casper is completely blocked by the tree, so uh, I guess the best damage would be 2d8. Yeah, roll 2d8 and see how much your car does to this thug. It is a car. Okay, cool. How much health do I have? Uh, not a lot. Alright. Oh. Um, all part of the plan. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. Let's eliminate him from the map. <laughs> um, Excellent. Um, so, what happened is, um, you, so you back up your car, your aiming is a little bit off, but luckily, or unluckily for the thug, you hit him as well. So, uh, do, like, being a grab car, you don't really, like, it's, it's not like you're gonna roll him over, but, like, it is still, it still doesn't float that high off the ground, and you smack, like, on the side of his ribs. You hear his ribs, like, you can definitely hear the ribs crack. Um, he coughs up blood. There's, like, a stain, and an arm is, his arm is, like, kinda, uh, his arm is, like, not ripped off, but, like, hanging off his shoulder. <laughs> It's like limp hanging off his shoulder. He is, he is dead. This is a hit and run, or this is a hit. I don't know if it's a run yet, but uh, um, yeah. You just you you brutally take out a uh, oh gang -gang. leg. <laughs> the thing is, how badly did he damage the, the grab vehicle by falling right. into the, a tree? The, um, yeah. So uh, this this the grab vehicle have health. Yes. Yes. Where would I find health for a drive vehicle? Uh, How much of our deposit is going to be uh, <laughs> taken away from It also from has us? armor. It does have armor. Sorry, how much health does it have? <laughs> it has 25 health. And how much... And four uh, armor. Four armor? Alright, cool. So, um... Let's... Let's <laughs> roll... Uh, 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 is the tree gonna roll an attack roll? Yes. <laughs> yes. So how much how much armor is it? Four. Four. Four armor. All right. Let's see. All right. So there is a definite dent in the back, and the uh, trunk is open. Oh my god! And can't, you can't close the trunk. That roll was the so good. Mm. Yeah, that roll is amazing. Uh, <laughs> but. Yeah, so you have your trunk won't won't close, and like the back bumper is dent as hell. 
So uh, you're probably gonna pay more for it when you return this car. But uh, I don't think that is the immediate threat at the moment. Uh, Definitely all cash was concerned about. Oh my god. It's gonna come out of our deposit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Terry Law, it's your turn. Nice. Okay, well, after seeing this pretty horrific scene in front of me, um, I'm going to try something quite extreme and, and try and work this into the game rules so that you might just deny me immediately. But what I would like to do, mm -hmm. seeing that there are still multiple opponents armed, is I want to like run up here towards this thing like using part of my movement is that right yeah. that would be part and i want to like leap backwards like max pain whilst firing at this guy uh and then hopefully landing behind this horse gaining myself cover all right how about you just fire from like over here and it then would be... over here but they will say you did that <laughs> I mean, otherwise, you know, make like an athletic yeah. check. I guess he, he still needs to make the athletics check to jump over. I would much All prefer right. to. Sure. to <laughs> make your attack. It's fine. That's that's completely fine. Um, so make your attack first. Okay. Yeah, make your attack first. Uh, what's um, his and his AC is a mighty seven plus seven. Um, plus okay. your... again one attack bonus and one for Dex. Is that right? Correct. All right, so you definitely shoot him. And an athletics check? Uh, make your damage. Do your damage. Oh, sorry. Make your damage. You do. Okay. All right, cool. So, can I... Uh, all right, so I take three damage. I'm not dead yet. The thug one you shot, by the way. It's thug one yeah. you shot, and then your athletics check is a. Uh, yeah, we'll give that to you. Six is fine. Yep. So move your place to appropriate. Slams into the horse. <laughs> yeah. Unconscious <laughs> so, next to the you know, horse. Um. So you, you make your um, <laughs> you. But it looked cool, right? It looked cool. You um. <laughs> No Close one noticed, move? but no one noticed. But like you, when you jumped and flipped over, um, your your forehead caught like a sh uh, caught the ear of the horse. So oh, like, there's a little scratch on your forehead. Nothing big, like a little butt and a little like maybe a drop or two of blood glides down your face. But like, it stings a little bit, but it's not like uh, it's not like it's like threatening or dealt any damage. It's closer to maybe maybe you should get a tetanus shot in your future, but. <laughs> Um, you probably. I, I was uh, fishing for bonuses by role playing as what my character would actually try and do in that situation, but this GM doesn't work like that, guys. I was giving you a bonus for doing it, something crazy. Doing something insane like that is closer to getting negatives. The fact that I didn't. I give would take you any, that as well. <laughs> if I, I gave you bonus by not giving you anything. I would have been happy to be less accurate by flying through the air backwards. <laughs> I think maybe you could have rolled under the horse's head. <laughs> yeah. I just walked around it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come on, th there's two heavily armed gangbangers. Like, I'm, I'm, He's I'm gonna, gonna get walk. into that cover. Yeah. He runs like a pansy over here and ducks behind the ladder. He's like, "Oh God, help me! Give me your money!" <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Casper, you haven't acted yet, and it's your turn. Um, is it, are we about to like circle around the turn order? Yeah. So I'll just wait for it to start over again, I guess. Cause right. that's then you're no first again. Really. Yeah, you're last now. You're first. Uh, I guess I'll just <laughs> take my bow and fire it at Thug One. Thug One. All right. Cool. So his armor is seven. So D twenty plus eight. Oh, this dude is not gonna expect an arrow coming at him. <laughs> no, he won't. <laughs> no, the one that's gonna whiff by him. So, probably because your your heart is still pumping from the adrenaline that of uh, almost dying to Oleg's uh, escapades. Nothing to see here. I hide behind trees. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
you your shot and goes off course. Um, uh, next would be thug one over here. So I'll run up here. And I'll try to fire at Terry Law, who shot her. Cause that makes sense, right, guys? This dude is a suicidal maniac. He's like, uh. Actually, you're correct. Um, I'll try to shoot you from here and then run away. That makes more sense as a gangbanger. <laughs> um, so your armor, please. Oh, uh, trailer. Oh, sorry. Um, I believe it's seven. Yeah, it is. So. Wow. All right. Oh, whoops. Uh, Actually, I forgot, to, I forgot to give you. Uh, what type of weapon is he using? Just a um, just a pistol. I'm pretty sure it ignores it, so it's against a nine. Oh right. Um, I'll give you. I forgot to give you cover, so. I think I'm still hit. Yeah. Let me roll that. Plus. You're a warrior. Cover's a percentage miss chance, I think. So. Sir, is it a percent miss? I don't know. I just don't wonder. Like. Cover. Of recover, recovered, cover, spread cover. Hard cover. Uh, some weapons can be fire suppress. That makes no sense. Where is it? Cover. Targets behind hard cover save automatically. It's just a minus two penalty, I think. Alright, cool. So, I do hit. Then, since it was plus one, plus seven. Um... Oh boy. How much does a machine pistol do? Because it's not actually... Uh... Where are you? Systems, skill checks, weapons... I stroke the horse and say, Hang in there, Valiant Steam. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it. I'm like, don't worry, I'll save you. <laughs> we'll ride off together. <laughs> this is your last ride. Yeah, this is your first and last ride. All right, dealing. I'm fine. Yeah. So Ooh. glance is, scratches your shoulder, maybe ricochets like off the uh, off the horse, and then in, like and glances your shoulder, but it doesn't do you any good. And now he tries to run away. Whoa. All right. Um. Uh, next will be Theo. All right, let's see here. Who do I want to take a shot at? Uh, oh, uh, everyone. Oleg and oh, actually, yeah, everyone make a perception check. By the way, completely forgot about that. I noticed the two other people that are coming. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, Oleg, get a plus two. This horse God, is in the way. My perception checks are terrible. Ah, he makes it. Yeah, I actually saw them. <laughs> You see, um, alright, so Oleg is the only one that notices it, but he does see a puddle forming underneath Thug 2's leg, and, uh, not a pleasant smell coming from him either. But otherwise, yes, Theo, go ahead. Uh, under Thug, uh, Thug 2? Yeah, under Thug 2. Does he look like he wants to stay and fight or run? No. He does not look like he just watched. He just saw his friend get run over by a car. Uh, he did. He's the one who took a shot at me, though, right? He, yeah, he, he took a shot like uh, way above your head. Yep, I'm gonna shoot at him. <laughs> the guy just shot and pissed his pants, and you're gonna shoot him? Yes, totally. <laughs> he, didn't know, he didn't notice that. All I know. All right, so let's see here. My uh. Attack bonus right now is zero. Yep, and you get a plus seven. So one d twenty plus seven. God, <laughs> the red myth. Oh, shucks. Nope. So, the shot's wide. <laughs> Making sure I don't hit the car. Yeah, but um, you made sure you couldn't hit the car, and um, Thug 2 literally runs home. 
Nice. It's that's become Svara. the Sims. That's Svara of Yellow. Alright. So let's delete him from... Alright. So, um... Oleg... And Oleg and Trela, you act, you guys can still shoot at Thug 1 or 2. Oleg, you can most probably shoot at 2 easier than 1. Trela, you can probably shoot at 1, uh... Instead of t uh, easier than two, but otherwise they're just they turn tails and run after you. Um, crashed into the uh, their friend. Yeah, if he's running, I just keep my revolver trained on them, but I don't fire at all. So yeah, so they're like fuck, they're crazy, <laughs> and they leave. Um, so the guy, uh, all right. Cool. The guy with the case, uh, sorry, the guy with uh, is here to check on the money. Is like, oh, um, he's like, you guys, you guys are are crazy. I'm like, oh. yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, totally. He's like, I'm examining the bullet hole through my leather jacket. Yeah. Um, you can probably be stitched back out, but oh, doesn't leather jacket give armor? Not against. I'm gonna. I'll check now. So yeah. carry on. I asked the dude where he'd like to continue business. He's like, I, I, I don't care. Just give me the case and I trust you. Uh, I have to make sure I've got the credits. And he pulls out a phone, taps like, taps a few things, and then it's like, done, done, done. Just give it to me. Okay, I'm looking at my com pad this whole time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, hand it to him. Yeah. So the money transfer is, um, is, has, got, comes through. 3.5k. Yep. Sweet. And, um, yeah, he takes the case, he looks around, and he, like, dashes off with this case. Like, fuck. What the fuck? I'll never do this again. He had a semi-auto pistol, right? <laughs> is that... yeah? <laughs> fuck, I'll never do this again. <laughs> I might have made a comment to him like, um, you know, maybe a better location could have been chosen. <laughs> yeah, um, sorry, trailer, what you ask? He had a semi-auto pistol? He had, um, yeah, he has a semi-auto pistol. It's, uh, no, it's the, the crew pistol. Oh, crew pistol. Okay, so I was actually at 7 AC. Okay. It's the same result. All right. All right. <laughs> You're very welcome. All right, cool. So, uh, gain another, uh, 500. I'll finish this subquest. Ooh. EXP for everybody. And, yeah, how do you guys leave? Do you leave now tonight? Find lodging in this, uh, gangbang neighborhood? Oh, I think we head straight to the car. I do. Alright. So, do we need to clean this mess, maybe? Like no. on the car? Can yeah, we drive we're, we're with a bloodied blood vehicle? We're that guy on the street that's like washing a bloodied car in front of everyone. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm just where are you gonna maybe find, move where are you gonna first. find water to clean the blood off your car? Just the sleeve of my jacket, anything, <laughs> smearing blood around. <laughs> we'll just buffer this, we'll just buff it out, right? <laughs> Um, I pull up my like uh, fix a dent, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> fix a dent. Pick out the tree. <laughs> I'm not paying for this. <laughs> Your share of the drug money will pay for it. Who used the fucking car? <laughs> I guess it might come out of Oleg's. We nearly killed me. <laughs> After this small forest. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> All right. Um, make a um. Do make a driving check for your way back. No modifiers, but you do need to make it because this car is slightly damaged. Uh. All right. So. Uh, I think. Uh, is driving. Yeah, I think Oleg's driving. <laughs> oh, I am. <laughs> the one who crashed a car, you're gonna keep him driving? Yeah. Right. Sure. Yeah. I'm definitely concerned. Cool. Well, as far as I know, it was planned. <laughs> like, he's like, I killed that thug. Didn't you see how, like... Yeah. That's well. It's, it's fine, like, guys. I got it. I got I this. I totally trust Oleg with I my life, this. apparently. 
<laughs> it's okay driving. Yeah. I got this, guys. All right. So, all right, good. So you take it slow uh, this time, making sure um, the, the 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 trunk keeps opening and closing as you like go through the highway. It's pretty annoying. Um, yeah, are you guys gonna try and like clean up the mess in the back of the car or uh, what as you approach the city? Yes. Or, or... Um, I would say we need to find some like. There's gotta be a like quick stop to just like spray the yeah, car. Yeah, there's a few. Right? So, sure. Um, I think um, make a. Oh, uh, so pick someone to be, to pick someone to be the final roll. Uh, uh, final person to roll a stealth plus intelligence, and two people may help him. With a uh, with a stealthless intelligence roll to give him an extra bonus as you guys clean up the back of the car. Oh, yeah. I've got intelligence, so I can I can. So I've got uh, stealth ooh. zero, intelligence one. I would I would be rolling it I guess at a at a just two d six. Does anyone else have a? I think that I am the best equipped. For okay. This. So do you want to roll make the actual roll and then? Yeah. I'll try to do an assist for two d six. Okay, here it comes. Yeah! Yeah. Alright, cool. Don't even need assists. Like, Theo's the one who's doing the roll, right? Yeah. Alright. He had the best. Oh. Cool. So. Like, don't worry, I cleaned up Blade cards before, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I got this, guys. What's, what's Theo's background again? I am a hermit explorer. Hermit explorer. It's like, guys, don't worry. I've had, I've had animal blood all over me before. It's easy to buffer them off. Just to go like this, guys. It's okay. Yeah. What was it? Um, Mr. Miyagi, just wash, wash, car washing. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was way too psyched for uh, cleaning blood off of a car. There, <laughs> I was like, ah, nobody <laughs> noticed me clean blood off this car. Get some. <laughs> <laughs> <Mom. laughs> so yeah, um so you guys clean off the car uh wash the car, like pick out uh a few, some dead tissue that may may or may not have remained on the on the backboard and um make your way back into the city. So um do you guys wish to return the car now? Or I would make the suggestion that we re return the car. Or try and just go back uh, to your ship? Uh, yeah, re return the car, pay for the damage, and uh, maybe go back to our ship is what I would suggest. There's no repairs that we could make to make it look a little, you know, less damaged? Um, Oleg might be able to punch it in. <laughs> 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 um, I think Oleg would do more harm than... Uh, like, it's it's like... It's like you've been rear-ended. Like, he went, like, real hard on the back right. and right into the tree, and he didn't break fast. So I, I have a little discussion with Oleg. I'm like, Oleg, uh, you were you were going to get 500 out of this for pretty much doing nothing. Uh, since you were the one who damaged the car, do you mind paying for it? Sure. So, you guys returned the car, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, all right, cool. So, um you guys uh you guys return to the uh you guys return the car and um they're like, "Oh my god, what have you done? Where you where did this happen?" Um like, w "What are you going to report?" Like they have you fill out a form. What are you going to report with this? Hit a tree. <laughs> Hit a tree. All right. Uh, Oleg the one who's filling out. I'm guessing cuz he's paying for it. <laughs> I, I, I do not fill it out. I, I hand it over to Theo because I know he bought the car rental. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, let's see, what what should I ideally uh, write down? I guess I could discuss this with you guys. Yeah, it's fine. You guys, like, give us a look. <laughs> it's it's not like, um, it's, she's like, she's, the, the, the receptionist is like, uh, like, complaining and like, frightened from the damage of this car like not many times not not a lot of 
accidents, especially of this, even to this, de- this simple degree of hitting a tree, does not usually happen in uh, in the in the richer neighborhoods. Well, they would have you know the uh, autopilot feature mm-hmm. that I've had in other. <laughs> this wouldn't have happened if. Uh, yes, I write down a tree, and I'm just like, I just tell her, I'm like, I hit a tree, how much is it going to cost? Mm, it's like, um, she's like taking pictures and waiting for, uh, on her compat, on her compat, and then, uh, minutes later, uh, confirmation comes up, and then she's like, it'll, it'll cost you, um, this will cost us, like, a thousand credits. It'll cost you a thousand credits. All right. Okay. i prepared to pay for that. All right, so um, I'm taking that directly out of the ship credits right now. Yep. And uh, I guess you guys take the elevator back to the space station and leave. Yes. And head out. All right, cool. And I think I would wire uh, an advance payment on our, our ship. Seems good. So it would be how much is it that I say? Five thousand two hundred. Five thousand two hundred for the maintenance and lease, and an additional two hundred for docking charges. Well, that's that. You have to pay that because it's you need to dock. Yeah. All right. So oh. subtracting five thousand two hundred is five thousand. Yeah, that would okay. fulfill someone's goal. Is that something you implemented? Docking charges. Um. Whenever well, I think there's like. There is some mention of it. So are we um, are we the renting the ship to buy, or is this just a lease? It's it's a lease to buy. Okay, awesome. It's my guess. Awesome. Or you can lease to. It's a lease to own. That's that's your that's your deal. Yes. Unless it's a lemon. They okay. Said. I I would like I would like a spot uh on the spreadsheet where we could write down. Our progress. Oh, okay. Um, so I can just add it right here. Uh, uh, AFK, two seconds. Sure. Uh, so, okay, hold on. Was it um, the lease cost is three thousand two hundred? Is is that uh, before the additional, or is uh, the two hundred for docking? Uh, it's 5,200 plus another sh- additional 200. Okay, so. so I'll go ahead and subtract that from my credits as well. Because yeah. Yeah. we had to pay that. And that, that covers maintenance, which, I mean, we don't have to pay, but things could, like, break down on us. Yeah. Oh, so, okay, we didn't need to pay 2,000 then. Yeah. We didn't need to, but, I mean, that's, like, oil change. You know, it's, like, essentially what our ship needs to be uh, to continue functioning at a high level. But we could totally get away with not... Yeah, let's say we had a bad month or something. Yeah, and if we, if something was broken, right? Yeah, right. Which there's just a chance something could go wrong. Things probably will break. Everything breaks. Um, as but, we navigate, as I attempt mm-hmm. to navigate through the solar system. Mm-hmm. Solar system. <laughs> um, as Oleg tries to drive a car. <laughs> oh, wow. That was a very expensive weapon choice. <laughs> That was only a thousand credits for a single yeah. bullet. Those but it killed the guy. <laughs> so I guess it's worth it in a sense. Very expensive one shot. <laughs> Alright. Uh, <laughs> 3200 of... I forgot the total cost, but I'll figure it out in a bit. Uh, um, I'm going to take some credits out and apply them to uh, Oleg in my account. Oh, whoops, it's a free merch, right? Oh. Yeah, did, did, it, did the um the drug money go through to everyone, or was that just the one account? It was to the... It should have been to whichever account Terry Law gave. So... I don't bring it up now, but I will be talking right. money when we get back to the ship, probably. Oh, uh, oh. Yeah. No, I do address Oleg. I am, I'm like, you know, good job for running that guy over. Thank you. <laughs> um, let's do this. 
and then this. Oops. Uh, I was aiming for the other guy, though. <laughs> they don't know that. At this point, I am kind of worried. Like maybe <laughs> it wasn't quite as planned as I thought it was. Maybe I almost died. Uh. 500k. Yeah, there you go. 500k for a ship of this caliber. That's a hell of a deal. <laughs> you like tap the out the hull of the ship if you say that. Like ah. Oh. <laughs> uh, that I'm afraid that was OOC. Okay. Hmm. All right. Eat. Merge. Merge. Uh. Oh. Mobi. Equals. Oops. We don't quite owe that yet. Equals this. Minus. Oops. Why do I have a thousand credits, by the way? Yes. Uh, that was for the drug deal. I had allocated a thousand to you and Casper. Okay. And the rest is in the ship, right? Uh, well, I took another 500 out. I put two, 250 in Oleg in my account. Okay. <laughs> you guys got a great deal off the extra uh, equipment that, this, that the, the, the ship came with. Yeah. No shit, we didn't even pay for the hull, I don't think. No, we did, no, we you just did. paid, we paid for, the for just the hull. Wow. All right. Cool. Oh, okay, I see. Cool. Cool, all right. There you go, total cost. Uh, oh. Credits, uh, like, owed per, like, on a monthly basis would be a pretty good thing to have, too. Oh, uh, like, yeah, right now least cost. There, it's right there, least zero. cost. Yeah, so 3200. These, these costs 3200 right there. As long as we're tracking the months. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um So let me write down you paid this month. So, I take yeah, it we well, have 23 days left to complete that other job. Yes, you do. All right. Cool. So, while well, it's evening now, will you want to rest or you want to try and fly? Um, you guys I, do have quarters. You guys don't have to. Yeah, I'm just happy to, happy to be back on the ship. I like kick back a bit and you know and re alive. disassemble, reassemble my weapon a few times, maintenance that kind of thing. And not be not be ran over by a leg. Can't I <laughs> uh, theoretically set a course? Mm. I think you can jumps have to be like. Honored. Um, yes, you... No, they don't. Um, yes, you may. Um, it does cost, um, it does take six days to jump from one sector to the next. I want to make sure that we have enough There's food and fuel, like, a lot of food and fuel. You have... Do <laughs> um, we even have any? Um, you guys have, uh... What was it? You guys should have, I think, 80-ish... Um, <clears throat> life support per person. I bring out this, like, magazine that has, like, ship uh, parts, and I'm like, guys, check out this, like, hydroponic. <laughs> He's uh, like, don't we, want, don't we want this Japanese garden in our back? Compelling. Right? <laughs> I'm like, it'll handle, like, oxygen and food supply. And it looks good. Um, and it looks amazing. It's tranquil. You know, I'll, 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 I'll manage it. Uh, yeah, I might have to do a little retcon if, uh, as long as when, when we get, uh, mm -hmm. a, uh, what is that called? When we know how much food and fuel we've got. Uh, or is life support detecting other ships? No, that's not right. Or Usually we, a ship carries 14 person days for its maximum crew size. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So fourteen person days times six. six. No, no. As in 
14 or, person or, days for a full crew. Yeah, like, six is your max crew. Yeah, but you mean, you mean for us, right? For our crew, not the max the ship can hold. No, 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 it's because the no, ship No, no, it can hold. Yeah, like, hold. That enough many. to keep six people alive for 14 days, not 14 times six. Well, that's how many days we would have. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's how many that days is how many units. <laughs> yeah. So you have 84 uh, person days. Every day yeah. we burn four days. Every day, yeah, and every day you burn four days. So it takes 48 hours. It takes 48 hours for you to move out from the uh, to the edge of the the the, the um, solar system, and then six uh, and then six days to jump from one uh, system to another. So I guess you can set a plot to uh, set a set a point to go out, and that will cost you. And you'll need a pilot roll to uh, jump to the next system up. Okay. Uh, I yeah, I want to have a good mental picture of this because I understand that we could we could potentially get stranded for like a month, right? Um, there is yes. yes, there is a chance of getting stranded for a month. So we want to have lots of fuel and lots of food. You oh. have so you have two fuel, which is enough to get you there and back. Um, we have twenty days worth of like. Life support, I believe, right? Let's Left. let's get this all written down. Uh, air. Uh, sorry, life support. Uh, eighty-four. There's actually a spot up here, right below. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay. First. And for fuel. Fuel Where is. is is there fuel? Yeah, somewhere. Somewhere. Uh, I only get. I uh, have. You have a fuel bunker. Do we have a fuel bunker? You do have a fuel bunker. I so, do. did you spend? Um, did you spend the maintenance cost? Yeah, we did. No, we didn't. I took it back. Yeah. I took back the maintenance cost. Last maintenance, December. Yeah, I mean, we wouldn't pay maintenance early anyway. We would pay it. I guess there isn't a fuel thing here. All right, cool. So definitely want to buy some extra fuel for this. Oh, we can well, only you can't hold, hold. Yeah, we have two jumps worth of fuel, right? Oh, okay. On so, it, and then we have a fuel bunker worth of fuel. If yeah. I really fuck up and we get stranded, we're just gonna have to put you out. You do have a scoop that you can. Uh, you you can, can. Takes four days to gather. Okay, so there's okay. Other than that, though, if we to completely ran out, wouldn't we? Uh, you could put out like a distress beacon, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there there is a chance that every every system can fail on us basically at the same time. Yeah, we can just be drifting through space. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we could die. I mean, but we're yeah, yeah, yeah. so. It's I've already come to grips with this. <laughs> My character has no problem with us potentially dying. Love wow. it. <laughs> Just part of being in space. Wow, it's so pessimistic. Let's start trimming courses. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. So, wait for right. life support. All yeah. right. So I guess it's uh, we'll just do the whole thing and we can glance over it. So uh, who is piloting? And I am. Please, I'm, it would be me. So please make your. Not me. <laughs> so my plan here is kind of to set a course, hope it's a really good one, and then go get some rest. All right. And so we're gonna try and jump over to the Asma uh, and Matza uh, system. So we'll make I think it was space or sorry vehicle space. Vehicle space, okay. Or Let's wait, wouldn't it be navigation for the spike drive? I think it's navigation. Is it? Oh, uh, ship travel. It is navigation. Uh, vehicle space. It's spaces. astronautics and space for stealthing. Uh, and it's computers for scanning? Yeah, it's navigation. Traveling within a solar system, a system requires navigation, so... Yeah, so it's navigation intelligence. Okay. Here it comes. Good luck. All right. Bam! Sweet. Bang. Uh, Done. All right, remove one fuel. ass. Yeah, remove one fuel from your thing, so current one. Done. And, um, yeah, so you guys have, like, literally eight days to spend, um, what do you do? 
I'll remove that from our life support right. as well. Oh yeah, so uh boss say silence will be so minus thirty two. Oh minus oh sh what the fuck? Oh right, of course. <laughs> of course. Just before we jump, I like download a bunch of articles on current hacking techniques 52. and uh um, potential um, ship scanning techniques stuff like that. I'm just like going over, trying to better myself as a as our computer person. Cool. Um, so let's say. Cool. Let me write that down and then uh, download the training materials. Cool. Oh. Uh, so in my mind, I am, I'm back at my home, and I can feel the the breeze, uh, flowing past my hair, and uh, I can smell the air of uh, Alam slash Naomi, and right. I'm I'm on you know I'm on top of a mountain, and then you know I wake up and I can hear the, and the groaning of, of the the hollow droning of the. The and you, yeah. So yeah, you guys have eight days. What do you do? Do you guys like do you eat together? Do you chat amongst yourselves? Like try and learn more about each other? Do you guys like sulk off to a corner and just do your own thing? Um, I don't know. Do you guys like hack the internal internal um, uh, uh, video system and just like just keep like keep um. Uh, not surveillance, but like privacy and to a probably. minimum. <laughs> privacy to a minimum that you just like keep spying on people just to like be be that. Um, I don't know. What do you guys take do? Take it we sort of have like a mess hall. That's where I hang out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. I, I'd probably be in there working out most of the time. Just lifting the entire yes. time. <laughs> Skipping does, like that. Does thou even heist? Hoist, sir. This thou even hoist. Yeah, one of those days I get kind of into Oleg's athleticism. I'm kind of just doing like, yeah, I, need, I mean, I need to practice. I'm doing some karate, and I, I guess I also do some athletic training. Like, I uh, probably within my own room, I do uh, handstands, that kind of thing. Yo maybe a bit of yoga? Yeah, definitely. And yoga's good, man. It's really good. Um, yeah, what about uh, Terry Law? Um, I'm kind of behaving in a fairly regimented fashion, like always waking up at one set time and like having meals at set times in the mess hall. Outside of that, like I think I think I try to copy Oleg at points and like sort of analyze his techniques and things, and and then likely with my incredibly low strength fail to do a single push up next to him or something. Uh, what's your strength? Isn't that bad? Is it? Is it's it pretty there? bad. What is your strength? Um, oh wow! Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty terrible. So yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> and yeah. Um, occasionally, I like walk up to the bridge and just look out across the vast emptiness that surrounds us. I, I don't really like go out of my way to socialize with anyone, but I'm not overly cold. I mean, she is, but she's not gonna just blank on people if they try to engage in conversation. All right. Uh, I have, like, the most common in with, uh, Casper, I'd say, so I'm generally talking with Casper when we're in the mess hall. About yeah, what I yet? I don't know. Not sure. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely showing you a bunch of, like, ship upgrades and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, this would be so cool. We could upgrade our spite drive, <laughs> like, a, a new, like, hydroponic system we could input in to uh, have our own. I, like I'm excited about it. He's like he, he he he's like uh he watches like the top gear for uh space vehicles. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though. Yeah. Now I'm talking <laughs> to Cash from like, you know, Oleg got us a pretty good job, uh we're yeah, I tell him about what we're planning on doing, heading to You should actually do that, that'd be cool. <laughs> um heading to Zawabi and uh I you know, I fill him in I'm like it's a you know, no questions asked for ten K. Solid. We just like well, I don't know. We dropped something off. Apparently, I was sick this morning, and I don't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So. Uh, um. Uh. So you guys make it to Zoabi very safely. So out of the, you guys at like the edge of um, 
edge of the the uh, solar system. So it'll take another 48 hours to get to Zuabi from the edge. Mm -hmm. So it takes six hours to move anywhere inside the solar system. No, uh, yeah. is it? I wasn't sure. I thought that's what it was, though. If I remember correctly, it takes 48 hours. It takes two days to get to the planet areas and then 48 hours to go between oh. things in the system. Uh, yeah, traveling from one region to another requires 48 hours. Traveling okay. between stars requires not only that the ship require, moves to the outer rim of the region, but that it expends six days in drill space. Cool. Okay, at some point I crack up about how I had a gunshot taken at me. Oh yeah, as, as, a, as our, you know, doctor, I take a look at you, definitely. Oh, uh, Terry Law is also, oh, do heal your damage, because you do heal your constitution oh, yeah. modifier per day in normal rest. What if you don't oh, really? have a constitution modifier? I thought uh, it was your level. One, is it? Uh, I, I don't know, no, no, it's, yeah, it's your level plus level... Uh, plus constitution mod or something of that sort. There's like, there's a formula to it, but I know it's for sure it's at least one, level one. Yeah, so I, I mean, I, I check out, I give you a tetan shot that I have in my medical kit for your scrape from the horse. <laughs> nice. Not the bullet? No, not the bullet. That's, <laughs> that's part of you. Uh... <laughs> uh, so that's... Next medical is zero, so I'm like, I don't know if I'm feeling up to that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, down to 44 life support. Yep. Um, Bullet. Yep. So, uh, yeah. So, welcome to uh, Zuabi from uh, looking down on it. You can, uh, you can see it's pretty... Uh, <clears throat> It's a pretty normal looking um, normal looking planet. It's very earth like. Um, there's seas, continents, forests, deserts, whatnot. Um, uh, but it's uh, it's more it seems to be it seems to have more uh, seems to be more untouched than um, Earth. So like um, uh, it doesn't look like there's that many uh, uh, I guess technology is not the right call, but like, uh... Is it a tech... What's the tech level for the planet? Two. Two? So it's like coal and... Yeah. Right? Do it's they have like, like brick houses? Like brick houses. Um, so it's like very old European, like, uh, I guess. So like, right. it's like Victorian age-ish uh, technology. Like, there's still, there's still electricity... Right. Um, there's still all that, but like it's powered. It's not necessarily like coal power, so it might be still be oil filled. But like you definitely, um, it's definitely like uh, on the age of. Uh, it, it's like in between, in between like the Victorian age and a mix of like uh, arm steampunk, right? Uh, no, it doesn't have to be. It just means like tech level two. Just means like. Um, it's not uh it's not really well developed if you turn a, if you think of it like um in terms of anime i can think of um the closest thing i can think of would be something like uh tri like a trigon-esque uh yeah. background like where it's like um the technology there is technology there is this and that but like they can't get into space and but there's still electricity there's still like guns and whatnot so and computers yeah. and stuff so it's not bad, bad, but like it's not. They can't get into space, um, not without other help. Yes, you are a free merchant. The other times tennis for frigates. Yeah, uh, that is a frigate class, though. Yeah, there Pretty is certain is. certain things you can't put in a free merchant. Oh. Because there's fighter class, frigate class, cruiser, capital, and a free merchant is a frigate. There's also one more class, um, but uh, you guys won't be able to own it anytime within the next. So it would be 10k for a fighter. Then? No, you can't have a fighter. Can't have any. But you can put. Yeah, most I know, fighters but like, have almost nothing. I was no wondering space. why they even why they would even do that. Um, 
mm. as far as price goes, just because it has to start off as free. I guess it has to have a base number to multiply it by. Yeah. Also, uh, the minimum class for hydroponic production is cruiser. Uh, God damn. They also have like uh, factory ships, I think, in the I think yeah. It's, it's in the scavenger book. It's pretty cool. But um, yeah. So there is no like being a low tech level um, low tech level planet. It's uh, it doesn't have any spaceports. Um, uh, does anyone? Have, no one has culture space, right? I have yeah, I do. Culture oh. spacer, not culture traveler. No. Culture, tra- sorry, culture traveler. Oh no. No. All right. Cool. So. Um, just from like general knowledge of this uh, of this uh, planet, it's like it's kind of like the backwater. It's definitely the backwater is like planet of the of this area. Um, it's kind of exploited because uh, the people don't have the technology. Um, but at the same time, um, the place this this planet's also used as like an industrial kind of like an uh like the china of this area like it's cheap labor they can plant all their crazy factories and have people work on them with no complaints yeah and then they'll have people come in to like ship um okay there's there's definitely like a place like land the ship yeah yeah, yeah. like even even without even without it your your ship can land in uh in atmosphere anyways okay so uh, at this point, I would contact the dude on Zawabi. Cool. So, um, the how do you con- do? You just like call his number? Or do you like just ping him or what? I would ha- I would just do a, like a simple text message that says uh, that we're landing on Zawabi today. Okay. And so cool. uh, let's see, how many dates has it been? Eight. Been ten actually. Now that you've arrived at Zawabi. So uh, eleven, I would say, because no. of the one day uh, that we spent selling the drugs. Oh yeah, yeah. Plus, so plus one. Yeah. In terms of timeline, since the uh, the deal, right? Yes. Yeah, it's been eleven days. So. Yeah, thirteen days left. Is so. Is that uh, thirteen days to complete the job? It's uh, twenty-four days total to uh, deliver it in his to have it in his hands. All right, we got to do this pretty quickly then. Yep. So, um, so you send the text message. Um, it's quickly replied by like. Uh, is like he he. There is no. He gives you like coordinates uh, for the planet. And then he tells you is like uh, uh, the the shipment will be the shipment is there, and uh, uh, you will need to um, so like pick it up, um, pick it up from there during the night when no there are no guards around, but um, otherwise uh, it shouldn't be hard for you. All right. So uh, another thing that we want to do is re. Uh get our life support to the max and fuel to the max yeah so it takes um it takes i think 24 hours to gather enough life support for oh, like mm. oxygen and stuff like that That's yeah it needs to like collect oxygen to fill its tank and whatnot uh while being in the atmosphere all right it's gonna be hard to refuel here right or at least expensive um there is no place to uh Mm, yeah, okay, so there is a refueling station. There is, because yeah. like, this is a place for people to drop, for them to like offload these um, these factory stuff. But um, it's, uh, so you can go and buy, I think it's uh, 100 credit for a fuel, uh, for a single fuel uh, a cell. Or a single charge of fuel, and then and then you, but you also remember need to land, uh, move to where, where the factory is, to uh, pick up the thing uh, covertly. Okay, so uh, do you think we would be able to do that uh, in a timely fashion, or is um, generally impossible? Uh, make a. Um, 
Yeah, make a navigation check. Uh, someone can assist with a uh, scanning check to help plan the course of action. Sure. Uh, scan so, the uh, tech astronautic intelligence roll, or? Yes. Okay, so plus one. Mm. Scanning is um, oh, computer. Don't worry, Sorry, bro, I got a nine. Compu it's computer plus um, intelligence. All right, so I guess that would be a six then. That would be a six? All right, cool. So, still nothing. Right. <laughs> um, but Theo, being the uh, master captain that he is, um, finds a nice entry point into the uh, finds a nice entry point into the, the onto the planet to land, and grabbing fuel. A few yell. Maybe just maybe you want to be doing this in stealth profile. Mm. Up to you. Uh, not as we're refueling. Oh, is that what? We're, sorry. <laughs> the first thing I think we we're probably doing because we're gonna have to wait until nighttime to pick up the cargo. Yeah, it would make more sense if you go and fuel in the morning and then head over, start flying off, and then find a place to uh, find a place to to. Uh, land and pick up your cargo at night. Um, yeah, so um, you go in, refuel, I think it's uh, ship stores, uh, each ship requires food, water, atmosphere, refreshment, a, fit, a ship's normal common with store is sufficient to keep its maximum crew fed and oxygenated for 14 days or a lesser number, blah, blah, blah. One day worth of stores for one person is 20 credits at a supplying station. So you can supply here, resupply and pay for your food and uh, extra oxygen and whatnot for your place. Okay. So, so uh, 20 per person per day? 20 per person day, yeah. That is a hell of a lot of credits. Uh, so 40 times 20, I think. Uh, yeah. 800. Yeah, 800. I'm gonna get Don't worry. good at one day. Yeah, while within, um, while within atmosphere, you guys don't take up life support. And did you say, uh, uh, each fuel is 100? No, uh, I'm looking that up right now. It's 200 because it's a frigate. Oh, there you go. Alright, so... So, it's a total of 600? For the Sorry, no, total of a thousand. Yeah, total of, a, yeah, one thousand even. thousand even. Nice numbers. Alright. So, um, yeah. So, um, would you like to try and land near that factory early? Or, or would you like to try and sneak it and, like, leave your thing here, uh, leave your uh, ship at the station till nighttime and fly over to pick up the stuff. Definitely do it on time. What is our is on time? <laughs> Remember uh, that you know the set of meeting time and then. No, he t he tells you is like um the, uh, at night the guard there won't be any guards. Uh, oh. So you can go and grab it then. Yeah. So it won't be so, at night. Then. So we could. So. Go there now so, and. Go there now and wait, or wait here and then go there at night? Let's wait here and then go there at night. Okay. Yeah. Anyone else have any other input? I agree. Alright. Cool. Um, uh, uh, what was I thinking? Alright, sure. Oh, um, so, anything, like, you have, like, a good say four maybe six hours at most to chill out at the station is there anything you wish to do there practice my stealthing skills i guess <laughs> <laughs> can you see me no yeah. good <laughs> you're getting a text message every 10 minutes can you see me now can you find me do you know where i am yep definitely <laughs> <laughs> hmm 
Not so sure I have any hobbies that I would try to practice now, like gambling, for example. I might <laughs> play like a friendly game of cards. Oh, you could gamble with someone else. I'm sure someone on the ship will gamble with you. God, I don't want to gamble. <laughs> there are people on the station, like, there are people playing cards. Um, at, like, the local, just resting station. I'll play for fun. If I see one where it doesn't look like there's money involved. Mm, not so much. A lot of people there are trying to make it, like, easy money. Quote, unquote. Right. Um, so, like, if you, you see, you definitely see cash on the table and everyone who's playing uh, cards. Um, but uh, nothing, no, it's not really a, they're not really playing for, yeah, definitely no one playing for fun. If not, I'll fade on to the evening if there's nothing anyone else has specifics. Um, cool. So, evening dawns. Um, you're just gonna go and fly there, or are you gonna do it? Like, you definitely know the position. Um, like, there is the, the, the planet, it's not like, uh, because it's visited every so often, it's pretty well mapped, and there is, like, uh, there is navigation for it. So. Uh, it yeah, it seemed like those are pretty straightforward, uh, instruction. Uh, yeah. didn't, so, he didn't seem to want to need to fill us in on any risks or anything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, is this like, like I said, I wasn't here when you guys accepted the mission. Um, so is it just like, you know, fly up? They, as far are as they, are they, are we grabbing something? Are we picking it up some, from somewhere? Are You're, they dropping it off? Um, so the, the, uh, basically a guy approached them and said like, uh, I have a job for you guys, would you like to do it? And they said, yeah, of course. So he's like, all right, I need something picked up and delivered back here within 24 uh, days from Zuabi, uh, no questions asked. And I'll pay for fuel, and I'll give you also 10K for it. Okay. We have no idea what this thing is? Nope. <laughs> awesome, let's do it. <laughs> As we draw close, like I want to make my way to the cargo bay. All right. Um, so you're just gonna fly there. You're gonna do it stealthily. You're gonna trust his words that there are no like or what? Yeah, I want to take in uh, uh, the site, like the environment, as uh, I'm going there. But I'll probably fly pretty low. All right. What are the uh, options as far as stealthing goes? Um, you can like fly low. Um, Fifty percent reduced speed. Yeah, I fly slower and lower. So like you try and make as inconspicuous to be as inconspicuous as possible. It's oh. an opposed astronautics or space vehicle check against a, a tech computer check if someone was scanning the area. Yeah. Um, or you guys can land like further away and then see if you can haul the, the cargo through like um, a forest and some and a plane like, in planes. That sounds terrible. Uh, yeah, you do. Like, unfortunately, your 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 um, your free merchant does not have any um, lifts or cars to drag anything that's larger uh, around. But um, yeah. Alrighty, let's. Uh... So yeah, would you or you can just fly in normally and be like, yeah, there's no guards here. We can trust those words and just land right beside the cargo bay. It's like which yeah, one's like, this one? All right, just shove it in. Uh, I think all I would do is just fly low and just, you know, kind of take his word for it. All right. So are you gonna try and be stealthy at all or no, not at all or? Mm, no. <laughs> no. I would say we err on the side of caution. I'd be like. <laughs> You think, should, a, like, you think no I should try that. taking a, uh, a stealth check for the it's uh, the ship? Astronautics? It can't, it can't hurt, right? I, I ask the captain, if we're not stealthing in, should I be manning one of the guns? No, I don't <laughs> think so. Fair enough, then I do go to the cargo bay and I, like, wait by the doors. Alright, cool. So, um... You get to the you get to the coordinates and then you see yourself like kind of 
it's uh it's slightly off like but you see the you see the factory um you see the factory with uh all the all the cargo stacked up high like uh, in 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 um what are they called uh the shipping containers um so a little bit off so like maybe he wanted you to land over there and uh over over the day and then wait till wait and go over there to yes. pick that up okay but, i land where he told us to go or yeah okay cool that's fine because like um there is space like you definitely see space at the at the factory the factory there's no lights uh that you see like with your naked eye on at the at the factory you can and there's empty space for you to land there if you really wanted to uh i instruct casper to stay on the ship okay as we touch down, I think I would flip the switch and like start opening the doors to receive this um, cargo. All right, because like you guys are like about, I would say, um, a cl- mm. I would say like a, about a kilometer off from the the factory, so you're not like directly at the factory. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's fine. Um, so you're just gonna keep the hatch open and head over to the and just trek yourself over to the factory or what? Yeah. I wait. What's going on? That is where we're I'm making our way on foot to the factory. Well, you guys are like a kilometer off, so a little bit less than a mile for you Americans. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> that is pretty. Well, actually, I'm gonna send a message to him. I'm gonna say we landed at the mm-hmm. point uh, that you marked. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he's like, um, then uh, no one should be at the factory, but you'll need to. Uh, uh, the point is a little bit off. You'll need to steal one of the uh, loaders to bring the cargo to your uh, okay. to your free merchant. All right, so uh, to your ship. Yeah, I head off with uh, Triela and Oleg. I imagine. All right. Yep. And I just have my bow. I'm just staring down the uh, the ramp, I guess. And it's like, I'll right. bring my decks. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, make a make a quick perception check for those who are like uh, heading over to the factory. Or actually, even Casper can do it. It's not like. Um, oh, I can just dumb. keep failing these all day. <laughs> oh yeah, good. same here. Normal vision. Yeah. All right, cool. So uh, there's nothing, nothing special. It's just um, uh, it's uh, you can see, you can see like a faint outline of the factory, but like it's really, it's actually really, re- surprisingly, really dark. Like there's no one at this factory. It's kind of, um, it, it's relieving because that means no one's there. But at the same time, it's kind of weird because well, no one's there. Yeah, it's like going anywhere that's completely abandoned and just creepy as shit. And yeah. So you make your way over, and um, and uh, the guy, like, um, on the way over, the guy sends you the uh, the the shipment container number for you, uh, numbers for you to uh, bring them over. Um, Meh, eh, you find them. You find them pretty easily. It's not like it's really hard <laughs> to find them. Um, I'm guessing you guys have like some sort of flashlight. Uh, it's not like it costs any money. I think I do. Um, I've actually got glow if bugs. Not, yeah, glow bugs. Yeah, we want to use glow bugs. Those things like what float behind your shoulder or something? Uh, let me look up. That sounds cool. Let's make him do that. I think you just <laughs> throw them <laughs> or carry them. Yeah, you can carry. Uh, I instruct Triella to try to find a lift that we can steal. Ceramic okay. fire lighters, anti uh, what? Glow bugs. No. Uh, previous, previous. Scanning capabilities that our ship has. Oh yeah, palm, palm size disc that can adhere to any porous surface. When turned on, it emits a white light, illuminating everything within 10 meters for 24 hours. A hundred. Yeah. Uh, so just carry it around with it on. Stick it on your chest like um, Iron Man. Iron Man. Yep. Yeah. I I pull out my glow bug also and use it to assist me in fi- finding uh, a lift. All right. Cool. A vehicle. 
So um, finding the vehicle is not hard. They're like parked on the side of the uh, factory, a little okay. bit away from the, a um, little bit away from the, the 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 cargo space. But um, of with course, e- sorry. With equal parts discretion and care, I uh-huh. drive it slowly, like behind wherever those guys are going. Like right. di- we located the containers, right? So I drive yeah, it yeah, to the containers. Um, so we're probably gonna need two of these, right? And probably need like uh, two, one, uh, two of them, but um, the 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 thing won't start. You have no keys. How are you gonna start them? Uh, this is why we need our resident. <laughs> <laughs> right, I meet up with Triella. Me. We're gonna work on this. So yeah, so there's no there's no keys. So how do you start it? Like, uh, well, yeah, I call in to. Uh, oh, it's Oleg who who is is a computer guy, right? Not me. Oh, oh, oh sorry, did we, it's we, we must have left the wrong left person on the it. ship. <laughs> you guys left Casper on the ship now. Is it? Like, is it computers? We did? Oh. Is um, that what we're it's usually ship? security to um, break o- to defeat locks. Oh. Okay. Uh, Hold uh, on. My guys, oh, that's not my area. <laughs> Oh, like oh, like uses force to break down locks. Oh, we don't actually have <laughs> anybody who's really. Uh, I cannot do that. Skilled in. Uh, well, I don't want to do it because I'll probably break it. Now, um, right. anyone, anyone like to make an intelligence check? Yes. Just a pure intelligence check. Yes. So sure. uh, I'm just gonna be rolling a flat two d six here. Plus, yeah. Oh my right. god! Perfect. I'm terrible at this. I was like, "Fuck! What are we gonna do? We have no keys. How are we gonna find keys? How are we gonna turn this car? Uh, how are we gonna turn this machine off? How do you guys I even check above? You guys check the uh, <laughs> above the visor. I was hoping <laughs> for a crit there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyone else? Can I, using my criminal abilities, try to like hot wire it? You know? Um, no, criminal. Uh, that's culture. So. You have a contact oh, right. that knows yeah. something about breaking into vehicle. <laughs> but you can go with pure intelligence. Uh, okay. So. Right. Excellent. So someone, someone got there. So, um, uh, it's probably like, well, well, the keys, uh, well, things need keys. Like keys won't be, um, it's, it's keys only used like locally here. So won't they be stored inside the factory somewhere? Oh, I see. You would imagine so, but we're talking about instead of hot wiring a vehicle, breaking into a factory now. Yes. It's yeah, but you need to get in the factory to take the. No, no, no. The, 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 we- no, no. The so the vehicles to the the um, your the supply. Sorry, the things that you need to deliver. Outside. Can I just radio to Casper, please, and be like, we need your expertise. What, uh, can you possibly like? get this vehicle running for us i would like to uh you can you can you can talk to casper I yeah want, i'm like I, I don't have contact first and ask if he has any advice on getting the lifts to work uh no. with in this message i would include uh like is what kind of security <laughs> is there on you know the uh uh factory itself where the keys might be all right um one moment. Uh, as as I, I have computer skills. I don't have security skills, so I can't quite. Hmm. You, you know, do have a plus one on intelligence. I do, but you just the intelligence roll just to like see where the keys might be. Yeah, yeah that was that was it wasn't like, like a, a, a that was spot of keys. genius. Um, oh, okay. So, so I this, actually rolled this vehicle a three. Is, ha. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I see. Nothing. It's like a it's a very crude vehicle. It's uh it's a pretty it's pretty crude vehicle. It's like whatever you see in those. It's like a stupid forklift that you see yeah. every day. So, um So you um who is uh so whoever is contacting the guy, please roll. Give me one second. Um Hmm. What is? It'll be definitely charisma. I think persuade makes a little bit of sense. Yeah. Is yeah. the closest thing? Yeah, persuade. 
All right. It Not very bad. good. That's fine. Um, so, uh, he tells you, like, um, well, there is no, um, I can't help you with, uh, I can't help you with jacking any of those. Um, he tells you that the keys are, um, they're, the keys are right inside the door of the, the, uh, of the back door of the factory leading to, like, the, all the, where all the, where all the, the, the lifts are parked. Um, so it's not hard to get to, but, um, uh, like, the, the factory actually has alarms, so, um, either so like good luck either you break either you can hijack the the lifts and and get there or you break into break into the factory and good luck have fun <laughs> do it fast all right so uh i take it there's not really a way that we could learn how to or we could try to uh hotwire these um you can try and um because they're Huh, let me take a look. Is there any other skill that would make sense? Uh, like a tech that you could use? Sorry? Is there a technology you could use? Tech. Um, you can try tech um, or vehicle land. It will be intelligence, vehicle land, or um, dexterity. Dexter so your choices are um, dexterity and security. Um to pick uh, to either pick the lock and not set off the alarm or to try and hotwire the car uh, sorry it will be security intelligence to try and hotwire it it will be security dexterity to pick the lock to get into the factory or you can try and like pseudo hotwire using like uh, a a uh, a flathead and like a paper clip and try and start the thing with a uh, a vehicle, land, and an intelligence. So I take it we have about as many attempts to hotwire these as there are lifts themselves? Yes, there are four lifts. And first we could probably try to use, what was the last option? Um, it will be, uh, it was intelligence plus uh, vehicle, land. And that was, uh, uh, what kind of things would we have on us to uh, assist us in that? Do we have anything? <laughs> like, I don't know, like a knife, uh, a knife, maybe a paper clip. Trailer might have a hair clip somewhere. Um, stuff like that, like very, 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 very... How many containers do we need to move? Um, well, if you have, if you get two lifts, you can make, you have to move four. So, and okay. each, each lift can take like two. I would suggest at this point that we can actually, instead of like rendering one of these things or multiple lifts useless by fucking the internal systems or whatever whilst trying to get it to work, we could actually get the entire crew down here. That may be a terrible idea to begin with, but we could do like a smash and grab and we could literally like blast the door and take these keys and use all four forklifts to move all four containers as fast as possible and just go with this so like, all you need is like is there is there is carts for you or that i guess trailers is the better um better uh, uh description but like there's trailers for you so like with two lifts you can uh do it all and you can move everything in one trip we could have, okay. we have two like fuck ups apparently we could use you know two free or try to, try to uh, hotwire yeah, the car. to to mm -hmm. like basically rely on that as a last resort backup plan. And then one yeah. one can do it. One can do it in two trips. This uh, is like leisure. Yeah, so let's There's say no that I to... I have a like a kind of like a Swiss Army knife from my survival yeah, yeah, yeah. kit that I brought with me. Yeah. And I'm going to try to use that first to activate a forklift. Sure. So it would be intelligence plus the vehicle land, I think I said. Yeah, so I am going to be rolling at a flat zero. I'm strategically positioned with a glow bug so you can <sighs> see what you're doing. All right. So it didn't work. <laughs> so maybe um, that's that's pretty bad, a three. You guys need to roll a little bit better. Um, so <laughs> I look an anxiously at Theo. Yeah, so... <laughs> 
Theo, you like maybe you shove that. Uh, maybe I think you shove that. Uh, ex- uh, not exact knife, but a uh, safari knife a little bit too deep. You like knock. He's just something. wailing on the thing with a knife. <laughs> yeah. like, Come on. Uh, just and cutting then, like, wires, like. <laughs> No, you twist it and like I think like um, the 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 cover for the, where you stick in the key, that like is that's stuck there, but it's loose. So like you can turn it, but it doesn't actually do anything. Right. So like the internal like that thing is loose. The, the I ask Oleg to attempt to dislodge the knife. But the no no the knife is fine. Like you, you you're fine. But like this it's impossible to pick this thing again. Okay. I, I just pulled the knife right out like okay. it's nothing and like okay. And hand it back. <laughs> All right. Uh, gosh. So you have three to go. Uh, well, uh, guys, what's the uh, report? Sorry. So what's the report, guys? Um, uh, get on right nervous and shit. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna rip good. Like report back. Like we've got a pretty solid plan. You may end up uh, driving the ship over here. I don't see any problems with that plan. <laughs> Um, uh, let's let's try a few more things here. We've got so we're gonna pick two vehicles essentially, and I'm going to attempt to hotwire both of them, uh, right. or I'm I'm gonna attempt to turn them on both of them. So I've exhausted one, and then if that doesn't work, I'm gonna try to hotwire both of them. What? Sorry. So I'm gonna attempt to. Uh, no. Okay. That, that sure. is your hotwire attempt. Yeah. This this is your hotwire. That was okay. This is you like trying to pick the key and like so you, you got one more try. So no, 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 you have you have three more vehicles. No, one more. We only want to do it. Don't to listen two. to the GM. Okay. <laughs> all, all right, right, all right. So I go to the next one, um, and I'm like, trust me, I I think I can do this. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> oh my right. gosh. So you start you start one off like the headlights turn on everything. Um. Uh, everyone who is at the factory make a perception check. Please. With uh, wisdom. Oh yeah, not seeing anything. Let's see here. Make sure what? I got this right. All right, seven. I'm just right. staring into the headlights. Yeah. And, all right. All right. Cool. Nailing it. So, um, you hear a little like um, you see and hear a little uh, uh. Was it like a, a bush, like make a little sound off in the distance? Of the I factory? tell a leg to investigate that. Yeah. All right, I go over there. Cool. <laughs> and in the meantime, I'm gonna start loading up the first crate. Cool. Um, you're fine. It doesn't take any. You get two, right, on the first one? Yeah, you can get two on the. If you can like, the thing can pull two carts with, which you can like. So you load one cart, load another cart. So you get to the bush. Uh. Make a uh, dexterity or athletics if you have. Uh, I've got athletic. You you have athletics. Yep. Oh yeah, you do. All right, make an athletics check. All right, what you get? Oh yeah. 10. Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> this is going so well. This is going so well. So like a rabbit like leaps at your face. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, oh shit, and you just grab it by the ears and it just hangs there and like, not struggles. So if what do you I do? see that, I'm like laughing, I'm like, oh, like, you think that, you're like, you, you think that thing's gonna try to report back and, uh, or report us? No, but can I keep him? <laughs> this uh, is like lunge for your face, right? This is like some kind of this devil is, rabbit. This like, <laughs> my response to that Monty is... Python, like... <laughs> I'm not so sure he'd enjoyed life on the ship. Mm. And, and Actually, just he, he doesn't need to, he doesn't into need to, the bush that he tell him, out of. Tell him the rabbit doesn't need to enjoy life on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Extra life support. But I, I do end it with, uh, but I'll leave it up to you. I, I, I just, like, toss Another. it gently back into the same book. All right, cool. So, all right. <laughs> Guys, this is the rabbit planet? I don't think you understand. That was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. The next rabbit comes and eats your throat out, and you're like, what? <laughs> no. Uh, grenade. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you're just going to make the first delivery, or are you going to try and uh, start another cart? I'm going to just get the second cart. I'm just going to make the de- first delivery. 
All right. Well, someone else could drive it while you try hot wiring another one. I could, but that could also well. I, oh, you're right because we've got one working, so I could yeah, try yeah. another one. Oh. Yeah. All right. So I I guess I I could hand that off to Triella. If uh, seems she like a plan. All right. Yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, yeah. So so my you can away I go. So my Wait. thinking now is I you know I got one done. Here yeah. comes the next one. Oh, it can't, it I can't guess. be that bad. <laughs> Whilst you tread this vehicle, like I, I ask, should I uh, radio Casper and get him to move the ship up, or are we doing this drive like over to the ship? I'm like, uh, yeah, get him a little closer. Okay, radio in, Casper, move closer to us, please. I uh, Casper like cracks his knuckles and he's like, all right, yeah, I've never flown a ship before, but uh, how hard could it be, right? All right, make your, uh... So I flick on the, uh, the power switches and I'm like, all right. Do you have, um, no, flying... Do you this is like ultra any... easy, everyone should be able to do this. No, 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 to fly a ship even within, uh, uh within... Wait, do I, if I know this, I am not down I've with got, this plan. Yeah, 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 you, you need to, you need to roll for this. Because, okay. like, um... Because, like, to, in order to navigate, even within system, you need nav zero at least. Oh, right. Oh, okay. I have not. I have no that's not so, All right, here we go. A pilot. So it's um, one plus. <laughs> no, no, so no. It's your, no. It's just doing it's your intelligence. Rolls. Sorry, one sec. It's intelligence plus um, uh, vehicle space. Can I, uh, can I try to inter interject? Like, no, don't, don't. <laughs> you're going to mess up. All right. Um, so you can either so this is you can either make a competing um, uh, competing initiative to see if you can interject or you can just say Casper. We'll see if Casper listens to you. Yeah, we're well, that's, that's, see how that's how confident. Regard, we'll see please. how we'll see how or I don't know, Ca Casper. How confident are you at driving a ship on that you have doing something you've never done before? I've read some books. Do you, do, you, uh, <laughs> do you want to do this? Kind of. I'll make the roll. What's the, what's the worst we're looking at here? Like, I nick up, Destroying like, Destroying the ship? Anything? No, come on now. Uh, I'm not gonna, like... Was not, it can't, you can't script that. It's like Futurama, I, like, slam it repeatedly into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> like, destroyed. No, it's like, the worst that can happen is, like, you... Doing it. Alright, cool. So, All right. you're fine. He didn't so even say... Wow, alright. <laughs> so, like, um, you... <laughs> the worst thing can happen. Yeah, like, um, you... Uh, alright, that doesn't we'll look say, bad. We'll say there's, like, um, so, you, you, you make it, you get there, but, like, the ship is, um, cosmetically damaged. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, huh, alright, that wasn't so bad, guys. It's fine. It's like, maybe he landed a little bit too hard. Uh, <laughs> By this time, I, I'm hoping I'm like moving the first hey. two containers towards him. Yep. So you can. Uh, you see a ship lurching towards you. <laughs> <laughs> Grinding like. <laughs> yeah. One side like dragging on the ground the entire time. <laughs> so like, there's some cosmetic damage on the ship. Maybe it'll cost you like uh, about like 150 credits just to like fix it up. But um, it's not that bad. It's character, guys. Character. It's character. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can give it a new paint job for a little bit more, but that's fine. Um, yeah. So you decimate the other keyhole, like this. The 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 the, the you jam uh, like the first one was like you're just not that great at it. The second one you did it well. So like yeah, I have so much confidence in like um, killing this, and you're like. Rah! Ah, and you just jab your fucking <laughs> your Swiss Army knife into the keyhole and then you're like just start turning it hoping for the best and it's like I did this before it can't be that bad and then like you just muck up or you didn't muck up you're like you at least ruined the, the ignition switch it's like it's no more um, you can try and hotwire it but like you can't try and like pick the no, I'm just like, uh, just whatever, we, last, this, we've got last. this, everything's on track, <laughs> there's no need. Are you going to try and jump on the last one and try, uh, try it out? No. No. Uh, guys, I've uh, moved the ship a little closer, um, uh, it went pretty well, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> I just give like a, a big cheesy grin and a thumbs up from the loading bay. <laughs> like, oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, oh. Um, Okay, cool. 
So uh, we'll say you spend the rest of the night, um, rest of the night loading the stuff. Are you gonna like? Um, are you gonna try and cover like once everything's done loading? Are you gonna try and like cover your tracks? Once, are you gonna? No. Once everything's done loading, I steal the loader. <laughs> Um, okay. Do you, do you have any like? We don't, we don't have one, we and we're delivering cargo. We need this. All right, all right. Time to time to write these things down. <laughs> would, would we know if there's trackers on them or something? All right. Or so that's gone with it, or some kind of. Um, you can make an intel like Lojack. You can make like an intelligence or security to see, or and uh, or. Yeah, you can make an intelligence or security to see if they have any sort of trackers on them, or. Um, someone can make a computer plus intelligence to see if they can scan for scan the thing to see if beep boop boop bop motherfucker yes. is what I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing proudly next to my vehicle as you guys do tests so as uh, Triela comes back and we load up the uh, second portion of the shipments and we start returning and I see the ship I, I just you know I'm like oh I'm gonna have to talk with Casper about this <laughs> alright so uh, one sec. Loader stolen. Stolen loader from factory. If there's, and if you find some kind of tracking device, I'm gonna leave it. Yeah. So you don't find any tracking devices, but um, there are. What planet is this again? This is 300. It's Zwabi. <clears throat> Zwabi. All right. Cool. Um. Are you back aboard, Theo? Uh, so, yes. Yeah, but then there is like um, there is an ob uh, there is like the factory name printed on the the the, the, the loader and oh, everything. That'll be the face. <laughs> I'm sure. Like, <laughs> do you feel like we need a loader, Theo? Because this one is, you know, I've loaded it up, ready to go. Uh, well, my greater concern is uh, that we don't have keys for it. So how are we? I guess we could perhaps uh, get somebody to replace the keys. Why not? Well, if we've performed a successful um, hot wire, doesn't that mean we that have, the front like is open and we can just like stick two wires together and and go? No, no, no. He like jammed. He jammed his Swiss Army knife into oh. the uh, ignition switch and like wiggled it a bit and then turned it and hoped for the best and it worked. So like, if you turn it off, you need to uh, find a way to find that <clears throat> spot to turn it on again. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I want his opinion. Bribe, you could always bribe somebody to uh, make a key, perhaps. Yeah, there is that. Yeah, we could, uh, I mean, we, we could just repaint this and uh, find somebody who is willing to uh, take out the key thing and make a new one. Yeah. All right, cool. So, um, yeah, so I guess, like, you guys just leave the, the mess that you made and... Uh, at the factory and fly off uh, to make it back to to to, to uh, Antonius as soon as possible. Yes. Um. All right. Cool. So that would probably count as a day, correct? Um, today will count as a day, but it doesn't uh, doesn't take up any life support because you've been in a, in atmosphere right all day. So we've got twelve days left to do this. Uh, it's theoretically going to take, what, 10? 10, 10 days to get back? Yes, it takes theoretically 10 days to get what back. What is our margin of fucking up here? <laughs> like, It's very possible. I know. It's very possible. <laughs> it's, I, I'm wondering how this is going to go down. Uh, we've already got a down payment, so we'd probably have to pay that off, but this person wants this on time. Uh, if they still want the cargo after we're unable to uh, provide it on time, then we'll probably have to make it like a cut deal we can clip the journey you can clip no. the journey <laughs> let's no. please no no not <laughs> good oh, come on you rolled great last done. time <laughs> <laughs> the confidence there. come on uh, cool. we, have, we have 10 days to get back um, you, have, no, you have 14 12 or 14 days I forget 12, 12 left 12, yeah. for the job how many days do we have to get back you have 12 days to get back but for the job so what are we concerned about? We if, you are, if you are lost... Yeah, we need to jump now, but it may go wrong. If it does go wrong, the deal is a bust. I mean, if, if, we, if we're if we having troubles, can we close the deadline? We just tell the guy we have his stuff, but... All right, I've got everything uh, 
written into roll 20. All we we just need confirmation that we're ready to make this roll. Hell yeah. Just like I was going to fly that. <clears throat> if we're moving to the outside of this star system, I would, during that time, like to snoop around the containers a bit. Uh, like, I, I'm curious about what we're moving. Not opening them, but, like, uh, getting Christmas kind of thing. You can't, like, they're big, like, cargo containers, so it's not like you can shake them to see what's inside. Yeah, I would have to pull one open. Uh, yeah. If I don't have my captain's permission i'm not going to but i'm itching to rip the doors open okay. i'm telling you no okay i leave uh, to avoid the temptation <laughs> the right. money go to my quarters all right so i'm i'm sitting in the pilot quarters um uh, taking a look at uh my navigation charts yep Catcher's giving me a thumbs up like let's do this you punch in the numbers and say go oh yeah so <laughs> good <laughs> Um, who is Theo is uh Theo is a ex an expert. Would you like to reroll that? Oh my gosh. So I have to accept whatever I would reroll, right? Of course. Well, yes. right. So you are you a fail. <laughs> what are the consequences of a five? What am I looking at? Um you roll on the um you roll fuck on chart. the fuck up chart. Yeah, it's a really nice fuck up chart. One D twenty. Alright. So I'm gonna definitely re-roll this. How I couldn't roll, possibly roll worse than two twos, correct? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah. my gosh. All right, cool. So subtract the. Uh, <laughs> uh, so subtract eight. Uh, no, it will be ten days as you arrive back in the Antonia space station. Yeah. Okay. How do we do the life support? I want to get good at doing this again. So it's minus four per like well, uh, it's four one per, per person. Day, so you have four per person. Okay. So we're, we're back down to forty-four. Yeah. Oops. I am bad at typing in fuel. There we go. It fuels at one. There you go. No, Perfect. twenty-one. <laughs> Out of two. <laughs> okay, that is that is completely overpowered. The ship you just filled like screw it, car container bay. We'll just fill it up with hydrogen, and somehow <laughs> shove that into our engine when necessary. Um, don't breathe, everyone. All right, now I contact uh, our job, dude. Yep. So um, you make it through. Uh, you go into the spaceport. You unload everything. And you go through the you go through the the the, the um, uh, security. During the security stop, the officer asks you what you're delivering. Well, I'm not gonna say anything. We didn't uh, we didn't think about this part, did we? Uh, <laughs> no. So what is what does the container look like in comparison to what we had for say or say uh, delivered previously? Um, before it was like these looked like pretty shitty like cargo containers, like what you would see at like uh, say a ship port, like what's on those. Um, it's pretty big, it's pretty long, but like compared to what you were delivering, that was rather small. It's like uh, what you were delivering. There, your first job would be something like uh, those rental lockers that you put in the driveway when you're like renovating your house. Okay. And then the ones that you have now are like actual cargo containers that might fit behind like a eight wheeler. But you have okay. like four of them. All right. I would say we just. I mean, we're just delivering. I mean, that's what we're paid to do, right? Yeah, but like, what kind of goods? We can't. We don't know. We can't allow you to bring in like unknown, uh, unknown things into our into our ship, right? I assume I'm unaware of this conversation. Uh, no, yeah. no, no. Everyone is, like, it's... How like, is this, like, over... Is this, we, we, over yeah, we yeah. probably should have thought about this. Is so, this over, like, a communications, like, channel? They're, like, talking? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So to the so, captain, I, I, like, rub my finger, like, is there a way you can, you know, grease the wheels here in case, you know? <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm not so sure. Uh, I'm trying to think of good... Like, just a good, just, I think a solid good excuse is going to work here. Oh, if that's what you're after, I, like, Triella whispers um, that it's life support supplies. I mean, that's, like, one of the most common things moved back and forth is, is life support stuff. Yeah, okay, that that is the excuse that I will settle on. Faith bomb. 
Uh, life support cargo. Life support cargo. Sure. Make a oh charisma persuasion plus. Do I assist him? Um, no, I'll just give you a bonus because it's a pretty good like excuse, right? So I can tell you, I can give you a plus two. Cool. Wow, wow, that was that, such that, a bad roll, though. <laughs> <laughs> that mighty four. All right, Theo, Captain Theo, making all the rolls. Um. All right, so he's like, all right. Um. Char seems. Uh. He, so you feel. Uh. You, sorry. Um. Who is on the comms? The computer. Theo. Sorry. Right, yeah. Computers. Computers. Um. That would be. Casper, yeah. So Casper, you can see that like um the or are they scanning. Yeah, they're scanning you. They see that like um uh you uh, oh I should have asked the dude what we were supposed to say it was. <laughs> um, they scan um they scan for uh you see like the your ship is being scanned, and um minutes after uh. We have a hacker who could possibly like give them yeah, false give information. Them false information, if that's what you're looking for. Sure, if you want. Try to give them a, a faulty radio and intelligence and computers. Yes. Wow. All right, yeah. that's really really good. The most it's life supporting thing supplies. ever. <laughs> supporting the cargo <laughs> equals life support. All right, in the future. Like oh my gosh. In the bins. Yeah. That was such a massive oversight on my part, though. <laughs> Um, yeah, so like they was like ah, everything checks out, seems good. All right, you may dock at station number blah and uh, check in, and we'll have you we'll have it delivered onto the ground uh, as soon as po uh, as soon as possible. So does Casper like does he just like search a bunch of images that would like that he could insert into the scan or something? It's more like um, it's closer to like he fooled the tags on the sh on the. On the on the the, the, the cargo, like okay. RFID tags, I'm that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, sending back like this is like you know like I support from numbers and whatever. Yeah, 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 so like checks out seems good. All right, cool. So you make it down. Um, the 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 the, the spaceport is uh, the spaceport's busy, and by the time you get down to the surface, it's like. Um, uh, it's already like past mid, uh, like past midnight in the morning. You guys will need to, oh, uh, you guys will need to rent at least uh, two trucks to deliver these things. All right. So I said it was twenty-five last time, I believe. Uh, uh if I remember. Uh, oh yeah, 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 for a truck, yeah. For a truck, yeah. It was fifteen for a car and twenty-five for the truck. All right, we're taking those directly out of our ship credits. That's fine. So there's, it's only it's only fifty. I asked to you guys if there's anyone here that could potentially um, like re uh, or, or modify our <laughs> the truck we have. You know, oh, like uh, after the job's done, if they could come back to the ship and. Oh the the mover. Oh, oh yeah, you guys want to work on mover. the uh, the cargo loader? Yep. Maybe not now, but like after the job's done, can we bring someone back or hire someone to like? Oh, you guys. To start. Can't you just buy paint and just paint over it? Well, I mean to get start reliably. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 that yeah, you can. You can. Um, but you, you have to do that when you're in the city. So um, yeah, so take off the money that you have for the trucks, and um, are you guys gonna try and find the guy? Find your dealer. Uh, the, yeah, the, the the. Yeah, I contact that guy. Oh. Um, so. Uh, hmm. So okay, um, he tells you to um, meet near uh, to meet near the gate, uh, like um, a like a rather outskirt area of the um, of the city of the rich city and. Um, the the deal is uh, the deal goes on. Um, he he sees his pro uh, he sees his pro he sees you like loading the four containers, 
um, you see him raise his comm pad to like check maybe an RFID or something of uh, something of some sort, um, and then he gives a nod. Okay. He sends you the money, including the extra two hundred, no, four hundred. He, he uh, sends four hundred extra. Yeah, because he said he's covering the fuel, right? Oh right, yeah. Okay, so seven th seven thousand nine hundred credits. Nine hundred. Yep. And he says thank you very much, and um, him and an associate uh, drives, uh, takes like takes their truck. Loads them and then, like, you now have two trucks with no back, with no like uh, things in them. Okay. But otherwise, yeah, you guys can go and find a place to stay. And congratulations at finishing your next job. Oh. Apparently, got that wrong. There we go. Yep. And you get an additional, uh, and you guys get a uh, seventy-five. Oh, sorry, 750 experience. Excuse me. Wait, 1750 then? Um, yes, yeah. you'll be a 1750. And I believe you guys do level up. Experts level up, for sure. Do warriors it's level up? Not me, no. Like 2000, isn't there something? Yep. Hunter. <laughs> do, 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 do. And. Um, so, hit dice, right? You can roll 2d6 and see if we go up. Yes. Come on, better than a six. Fuck! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, congratulations. Your HP does not go up. Okay, I don't like right. it anyway. It's not like it's important. So, no. so and my equation would be 2d6 six. minus 1. Yeah. That is an All improvement. Right. That is an improvement. You have 9 HP now. You won't die to a single shot by a shitty pistol. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe a car won't run you over. <laughs> I'll just avoid it. <laughs> like, uh, how does right. leveling up go, actually? Like, um, experts points? get three skills. Okay. Um, and so we can bump them up, or what? You can bump them up... Uh, to a maximum. Of... I think it's still one at level two. And then Wait, does that cost money to improve the skills or no? Yes, it does cost uh, 500 per credits. Per level, right? Um, it just depends on... It depends on... Uh, the type of skill? No, it depends on the level of the skill. It gets progressively more so Like zero to one or making so it zero. It does depend if it's a class skill too. Yeah. Um, so if it's part of your training and your background, then it's a class skill. If it's not, then it costs, I believe, like 75 or 1,000. Let me double check on that. Uh, skill check. It costs two okay. points if it's not a class skill. Uh, the uh, price yes. is just determined by skill level. Sorry, yeah, so... So to make a skill zero is how much? and then To make, to make a skill zero is 500. To make a skill one is 1,000. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, do we have, as far as you like, can also you can also bank points. Uh, yeah, and uh, it does take time, and it does take time, and of course money to train you. Naturally. So, what were you asking? Uh, what if it's something like your perception? Um, perception is um, the training so like there's some things that I'll give you like training as part of like say your tra or something you've done before and your travel so like uh, Casper if he wants to upgrade his computer he said before he bought magazines to read up and try and improve his computer scores okay. so I can to knock some time off for him perception is something you can train in like so like maybe you're in dead of space and you're like oh I want to like try and try and like uh, meditate so my focus on my surroundings is more um, that kind of stuff right um, perception um, is a class skill of every class yeah but the point is that like it's it's you can uh, to you still there are some things that I, I can I don't mind telling you to um, that you don't need to spend quote unquote time to train up 
Okay. Um, but you still need to spend money because um, it doesn't represent. It doesn't uh, like the money. The trainer fee doesn't represent just trainer. It's just like is you spending like say resources uh, to on. like on whatever you're doing, right? Because yeah. like maybe his magazines, he needs to download them, and then some he has to buy to learn more. Perception or something, yeah. yeah. Uh, to train your perception might be like you grabbing like healthy food so that you can meditate better or something, right? Uh, could I do that with my navigation? Um, navigation, you have to go to like. Um, uh, you don't have to go to school to train to level one. Um, anything past that, you do. Oh, okay. Um, but like you do have to spend the money, and uh, I can say, uh, for who is asking? Sorry, Theo. Theo, um, I can say you have spent time like you're traveling in these few days. Okay, uh, we need to, we need to take some money out of our uh, ship credits to give to probably everybody, but Oleg and I definitely. So uh, up, to, uh, up to you guys how you wish to divide those that money. That's five hundred per skill point. It's 500 to move to zero, uh, from nothing to zero, and then 1,000 to move from what, zero to one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's expensive. I've been giving you a lot of money for a reason. Okay. A lot? This is nothing. Yeah, we can't spend <laughs> all of our skill points want yet. You 2,000 a piece, and then that way we still have enough more credits for like our lease of the next month's lease and then maintenance. maintenance. And, all right. Or 1,500 a piece, or... Just so we still have that bank in case we need it? Uh, yeah, let's do that. 1500 per person. Okay. So it subtract 6000 then from. I will, uh, yes. Minus 6000. Alright. Taking that out of our bank right now. Alright. So 5950. Uh, we had 4,050 credits before, right? Uh, I wasn't keeping track, actually, okay, so I can't I've, tell you. I Actually, I'm recording this, so I'll check that out. You can Alt-Z if you just now changed it. Uh, or Control-Z, sorry. How far back would that go? Just the most recent changes. Oh, no. Yeah. No, it doesn't work because other people are changing from other pages, so... Right. Yeah, so it's fine, whatever. You can cheat a little bit here. I'll <laughs> record it later. No, I'll check it out. I will yeah. check that out. But, um, yeah. And that should conclude today's. Um, I hope everybody had fun. Especially old, like, running people over. <laughs> <laughs> and Casper surviving because the most sturdy tree has blocked his way. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, but in my head, it was just a perfect plan. <laughs> I have a car, there's no one behind me. Yeah, just run him over. Um, it worked. It, that's true. It's one way of describing it. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh. Yes, I'm definitely going to spend a thousand right now to get my navigation up one point. Okay, so that would cost you two class points to go to one, right? Oh, does it? It's two skill yeah, points? I think they progress. Is it a class? No, it takes, so. yeah, it takes two... If you go from zero to one, it takes two skill points. If it's, it if it's not a class skill, it costs three. Yeah. Okay. Wow. It should say on the sheet. Oh, right, right. Cost raised by one. Oh, the grayed out ones are our non-class ones. New yeah. level plus yep. one. Cool. Class skill, new level plus one. Okay. I think I'm going to go for like a tech medical to get to, to one. Just in case you guys get hurt. And then I'll put a point. I'll go into zero into security then. Did I gain 1.5k or was I imagining things? Yeah, we uh, all did. Yes, you did. Okay. You can add that. Um, are you okay with me doing the tech medical and the security? Security to zero. That sounds and pretty good. One. So that costs 1500 
cost two thousand. Oh right, right, yeah. Yeah. What planet are we on again? Oh, uh, Antonius now. Back to Antonius. Let me move this Thanks. little square back over here. Hmm. As far as um, ship upgrades, okay, if we can't do the um, hydroponics, is there anything else you guys want to do to the uh, <laughs> ship as far as like a new spike drive eventually or... Maybe well, there are many things support? I want to do. Yeah, right. I was going to say. Hmm. But I mean, like, spike drives are like, what? Like a priority. 20, um, the life support upgrade might not be bad early. I think a spike drive upgrade is good because it uh, cuts down travel times, which means we're going to spend a lot less on life support. Yeah, that's true. What does it do from like six days to three days, or is it just like a... Uh, it's div it's divided, yeah. Like that six gets divided by the spike drive level oh, which you awesome. have. Yeah. So uh, if you get to six, you just go everywhere in a day, which is crazy. I think that maybe should be a priority then for our next like ship. No, I don't think a free merchant can hit six. Now they can go up to like three, three. I think. Yeah. Still pretty awesome. I think that costs like 10,000, so maybe after the next job or... Do we still have to pay maintenance for this month? That's it, gonna be it costs 100,000 for that upgrade. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn, I hate those goddamn asterisks. For which one? For drive two. Oh yeah. Those asterisks OP. Plus we need to make sure we have the room for it. How much Some, room do we have? Somewhere I think we should oh, get Oh we've got We should try. I don't think time. it's calculated. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, we should track time somewhere so that we have a good understanding of what, uh, when and what we need to pay. So you spent, oh yeah, uh, let me write this down, I need to make a calendar. Um, uh, I can probably make one right now. At this point, we don't have any, like, additional space for fittings, so we would have to lose something, which is an issue. Well, don't we have... No, we've, we've got plenty drive, of so we... free mass. It's the power that we need. So we would have to get rid of fuel scoops or one of our weapons. Well, power doesn't take... Or fuel bunkers... Or sorry, it's bunker. Oh, gosh. Can't we just, like, switch it off? <laughs> <laughs> like, Santa, we don't need this right now. You. Then we flick some switches when we need them. Like an FTL. Uh -oh. Yeah. On According on. to this, we have no free mass and no power and no hard points. You do everything. have free mass. Well, do we how? Because we have like everything installed. No, it's like you free guys merchants like have uh, what? Ten power, fifteen, 15 free mass, mass, and two hard points. So, how much power are we using currently? Ten. Free mass, fifteen. We're currently using. Five, six of it? Right, five. No, no, because uh, if you check one second. Cargo space. Um, oh, yeah. The, the cargo, cargo space, space free mass can be... be traded for pressurized cargo space. One point of free mass grants two tons of cargo space in a fighter, 20 tons in a frigate, 200 tons in a cruiser, and 2,000 tons in a capital class ship. This right. fitting can be purchased multiple times. So how much space do we have? We have 100 tons, which is all of our additional space that we had left is basically gone into cargo space, so we have no right. free mass or anything. Ah. But we could switch it out for cargo space. Yeah, we could have like a 20 ton one or something. Pretty useless. Go but... down one level. Well, we only need, what is it, two free mass? 
So we'd still have 60 left. Yeah. Maybe a new ship even will come our way. We could hijack something. God knows what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how, how often are we going to literally fill the cargo time? Every time that it's possible to do so, I would imagine. Well, I mean... But, like, we're going to be doing special jobs most of the time, and rarely is it going to be, like, fill 100 tons worth of stuff up. Okay. Bring, like, nibblers. Because we're not truckers. We're uh, mercenaries with a truck. Makes sense. I mean, if that were the case, we should be purchasing, like... Uh, raw materials and be trying to like trade them <laughs> every time we go to a ship we should just be buying because that, that's an, like an item that you can purchase is actually like trade good yep so yep. we could be doing that every time we stop at a place and try to get deals but then we could get hosed huh. <laughs> uh, let's see January 1st delivered rich guys uh multi-laser of doom that uh rich guy's apartment um where is that word wrap thing there you go wrap text uh, uh, where did you guys see skills per level where is that at Page 65 in the uh, core edition. <sighs> Day three. the take to the show in there as well. Oh. Hmm. I think I have one less HP. Uh, what do you, you mean? Negative constitution modder. Yeah. Did you roll for your hit points, everyone else? Yes. Perfect. So constitution modifiers applied once for each level of the character, so I should have eight. Well, isn't that what the minus one is? No, it be, should be minus two, because yeah, per two. level. Oh. Uh, you still rolled really well. Yeah. That's a big improvement from five. Do, 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 do. We should work on uh, maybe some goals for next next time. Uh, someone yeah. completed a goal, I believe. Um, Make an advance payment for the ship. Yeah, uh, I think I think that's pretty easy. Um, so I think it should be two fifty. I feel so privileged Generous. right now. Hmm. I've got way more XP than anybody else. Oh, good job, too. <laughs> good job. <sighs> I'm not sure if I should uh, keep that. I think, would that be fair to keep? Um.
So do you get attribute points in this as well? Like every four levels or no? I didn't see anything about that, so I guess not. Yeah, neither did I. Uh, did somebody say that skills from your background or your package count basically as class skills? Um, on your sheet, it should have, right, it should have the, the grayed out ones are the non-class skills, is right. that correct? Is that how it works? Or am I mistaken? Yeah, I think that's cor correct, yeah. Okay, so class okay, so class skills are pretty set in stone. Yeah. yeah. I just thought I heard somebody say something like that. Experts do everything. It's pretty nice. Yeah, except for combat. It's good. I I've got the killing things part on lock. I would like to improve my projectile skill. Go from one zero to one. Uh, yeah, that that would cost three points. Yep. The fact that I have gunnery was just preventing me from taking a negative one, like when attacking, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and it's your call, by the way, for the whole, like, having to reroll. I just want to see if I'm going to stick with a cat person. That's fine. Okay. Uh, payment, see, payment. I was really hoping you were going to be, like, a, a full-on lion man, like like this no. image. As I'm, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, uh, what's the Magic the Gathering planeswalker? Uh, a Johnny? Yeah, I'm not a Johnny. <laughs> Monthly payment for ship. Oh. Um, I'm gonna add in next to level. I'm gonna do like a slash uh, skill points. That's okay. Oh, uh, there's actually Sorry. a space for unspent skill points. Where are those at? It's in black at the bottom of the skills. Oh, boom. Alright, cool. I found my point, but I was just... Sweet. Ole, it looks like you spent a skill point. Who, me? Yeah. No, I didn't. Oh, I, oh, I, I thought... Have. Shouldn't you have... I don't level up. Shouldn't you? Oh yeah. Okay. All right. I see. I remember how many credits you have now. Yeah. Remember he wrecked the truck. <laughs> I have the same amount of experience as credits. How about you? Oh yeah. It looks like Triella hasn't either. Cool. All right. So oh, wait, there no. is. You guys are warriors. Uh, are they both oh. warriors? Yep. Yes. Oh yeah, she does that expert on. All right, cool. So a makeshift calendar has been done. Cool. Cool. On. Um, yeah, there you go. Nice. Oh. Uh, the memories. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. There's so many days to play. Not really, considering. Uh, how do I make these two keep 
Uh, protect range. How do I make it so that it always shows these? So it shows what? Like the first two rows. I don't know. I forget. There is a way. Oh, so like when you scroll down. Yeah, when you scroll down. It's still, yeah. Um, Some elitist shit. I don't know. Conditional. Let's see, in August is. Two that by your die. Go you see. So you die. So you see. So you die. All right, cool. Makes sense. Done. Just like that, guys, a month will have gone by. Well, at least you don't have to worry about the payment. That's true. We should pay maintenance, though. Mm, probably. Might be important. Wait, I thought you did maintenance annually. Um, or I, it, the book does it annually, but I think I'd like to do it uh, okay. monthly. It'll be okay. more interesting that way. Is that the price for monthly, then, or is that the price for annual? Uh, that is the, let me double check. Ship bank, nope, wrong one. Mercury. Oh. They, they say roughly 5% of the hull's initial purchase cost per year. So times 0 0.05 divided by 12. Will be, yeah, that's the monthly cost with discount. Yeah. Hmm. View freeze. View freeze column one. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. I'm so good at this game. Oh, cool. All right, cool. Oh, I so see. But Asper remembers fondly his first time flying a ship. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See, no, does not. <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, um, that con that concludes our session for today. Is there uh, if there's any questions, concerns, headaches, uh, uh, doubts, just uh, message me or tell me in the off time if you uh, any time you want. Um, I'll have to make some faction turns and post up a new thing by next Tuesday or Monday. All right. right. Um, how would you like us to handle like time spent on training then? So, um, like it, it really depends on the skills. So, what okay. skills are you guys training? Because I was gonna do tech, medical, and security. Tech, medical. So oh, the one. On uh, tech, medical, and security. Those because they're they were untrained for you. Uh, no, I had well uh, security. I had at nothing, but tech, medical, I had at zero. Okay, so I guess security you'll need to we'll need to uh, determine some time that will be spent uh, for that in the upcoming days. Um, Could I hypothetically like buy like a beginner's lock pick set and like just you know that's what I spend on the ship doing is like picking locks. Well, that's pre. Uh, that's so you can do that, but then um, so we'll see. Just make a note. Uh, okay. See that you need training time for these things and we'll see what we can work with to put it in um, anyone else needs training is doing training and training time needs training time uh, can I say that I've been working on navigation for a while 
Um, we can say that like your experience in moving between like Antonius and, and uh, uh, what's uh, and Zuabi has uh, given you some more insight in your um, in your navigation. So we can skip the we can skip the training time for that, and, but you have to pay the fees. Yeah. All right. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, uh, secure. I think security might also deal with computer security as well no uh that is all computers actually. oh okay Interesting. so to hack uh, and go past firewall we'll use a computer skill to um like to break down the electronic lock we'll use a security skill like what okay so if like let's say it's a briggs home security system that's uh what is that um so like if it's a so if you're picking a lock, no matter what kind of lock in this system, it's um, security. So even if it's like um, guarded by a supercomputer, it's it's still you use a security to get past the door or the lock. But to hack through like the best um, firewall in the world, we'll be using computers. Wait, okay, here's a better you gain example. Gain physical access, use security. Sorry. What? Gain physical access. Yeah, the gain physical access is security. To gain digital access, it's computers. Here, okay, here's a better example. What if it is a door that only opens if somebody's fingerprint matches? It would um, be class to security, right? Yeah, that would be class to security. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, it's a pretty solid break. <laughs> Are you gonna go through that door physically or something else? If it's physically, it's security. I'll go through it mentally. Uh, I'll pretend I'm on the other side. Project. No, no psychers in here. <laughs> Surprisingly, I'm still surprised by that. I thought I was intimidated by the class. I'll be honest. <laughs> I was honestly thinking about doing it, but I wanted to be a computer person. You can be a psyker and a computer person, can't you? It's true, but less skill points. It's true. Oh. Someone mind like explaining to me because I'm still failing. Okay. How do we deal with life support? Okay, so life support is so the number is there. Per, it's per person. It's per person day. So for every person on the ship, it will minus that much, uh, that many uh, points from life support per day. Yeah. So you have a crew of four on your ship right now. So for every day you spend in space travel, four will be subtracted off. That's it. Okay. Right. So if you like transporting a VIP then it'll be five people then you'll be it'll, you have to subtract five per day uh, one last question would yeah. anybody mind here if I uploaded this to YouTube um I don't mind fine I'm okay with that yep awesome oh are you the one that posted on reddit like a few days ago about no. this no no well I, right. I actually uh, responded to that person I think okay we're talking cool. about it me JP's reddit uh, I don't remember. I've been I go through MEJPs and the RPG forums and the world building and a few others. Yeah, somebody was looking for some more uh, SWN campaigns to watch no. slash listen to. Oh, okay, I don't know, cause like I feel like I'm a pretty poor GM. I don't know if uh, and like everything I'm doing is literally on the spot. Like there is next to no planning aside from like editing the stupid uh. The, the 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 galaxy or the sector sheet to make it so I don't sound like an idiot when I pronounce names. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think you can still learn a lot from watching like any campaign. Really, it's true. Yeah, and also uh, uh, I also put in a few Magic the Gathering uh, and anime uh, little cookies in there. Oh. Otherwise, yeah. I don't think I'm going to recognize this. Really? Because, uh, like, Daybreak Cornet is a pretty big card. Wait, Ragna? Is that one? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Shoot <laughs> and miss. Uh, I don't know. Look at the companies. I think there's quite a bit there, I think. Where's, the, where's, where's that at? Uh, corporations. There is um, the Orzov family. I know, but where, where do I find... It's in the the corporations. God. It's on the it's under a political group above religion. I know, but I don't, I'm just failing right now where, uh, where that is. In on the sector sheet, the sector page I gave you. Oh. 
to Skype. Yeah. Do I need to send it to you again? Possibly. I'm just scrolling up right now. Um, here. Where is Skype? Where's my folder page? PC. Here you go. There you go. Like, Orzhov is, uh... Orzhov is a Magic the Gathering thing. The Black-White Guild on Ravnica. Uh, Star Alliance is actually a real-life uh, aeronautics company that um, involves Air Canada, U.S. Airlines, oh, Cathay Pacific. Black and white, like Obsidat or whatever? Or? Yeah. Um, yeah, Obs Obsidat is... Um, yeah. Uh, Live Tune is actually a Japanese um, composer. Meteorite Flow is also a Japanese uh, band. Um, what else is here? Wayfair is, but Wayfair is way too general. But Wayfair is a magic card made for like Wayfair's Bobble. Uh, Egoist is an anime thing. Um, a Galactic Organization of Trade and Tariffs is also an uh, anime thing. Uh, what is that one from? That's from Kitty Grade. I bet none of one, no one here has watched it. Never even heard of nope. it. Yeah, don't watch it. It's not good. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> um, but if you like lesbian action, it's in there. Um, David Cor David Cornette's an actual magic card. Um, it's played in modern a lot. Ima Fuku is an actual Japanese um, delivery. Uh, company. Uh, what else did I put in here? Uh, oh, some of the planet names. I think Alfheim is in like it's uh, the uh, where elves live in. Yeah. Um, Felipe, because I'm too lazy to think of a name, and I uh, no, actually no, Felipe was them. They generated Felipe. Uh, Madrid, because I was too lazy to think of a name. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Agamemnon. Uh, that's a that's a real no. dude. Yeah. Um, Bant is one of the uh, is actually a planet name. It's uh it's one of the shards in Magic. I was gonna say, isn't it like blue white? Uh, blue white green. green. Yep. Bant super friends. Bant super friends. Yep. And that's about it. Just a little bit here and there. Uh, and like I said, Rogers Communication is an actual Canadian company that no one likes, but everyone has to use because they're the best. Expensive as fuck. <laughs> like, how, how much do you guys pay for your phone bill per month? And, yeah, how much do you guys pay for your, like, cell phone bills? Uh, <laughs> my parents pay for that. I have no clue what it is. All right. Like, 40 bucks for mine. Yeah, how much internet do you have? Um... I have a 3G unlimited that carried over. Yeah, I have six gigs and six gigs and um, so I'm limited to six gigs and I have like a bunch of like pretty basic stuff and it's cost me seventy bucks a month, including tax. Oh my gosh, that is ridiculous. Yeah. I had that Verizon unlimited uh, internet that I'm just not going to give up ever. Yeah. Really. Like, and I'm I have a grandfathered plan. I can't get anything cheaper than this. Mine is like a ridiculous, ridiculously overpriced for the area, and it's like what, like forty or fifty dollars. All right. Yeah. So yeah, Canadian telecommunications fucking expensive. Uh. Anyways. Um. Yeah. Good job, everyone. Um. Fun if, session, guys. I was, yeah. Um, I, I hope. I hope it's. I hope it was fun for everyone. And yeah. See you next Tuesday. Sounds good. I'll see all you guys yeah. later. Ciao. All right. Thanks, guys. Peace out.